All right, what's up everybody? Gonna be streaming some Lost Thunder here tonight. I've got 233 codes here to open and instead of trading for stuff, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and crack some Lost Thunder stuff. I just got done opening tons and tons of Lost Thunder product for uh, for the shop here at Full Grip. Riley, what's up, Riley? In the chat, hanging out here. Just open tons and tons of Lost Thunder stuff for Full Grip. So, gonna be cracking some Lost Thunder packs here on PTCGO. And then the idea is that hopefully I can actually pull some things to then play with on PTCGO in this same uh, stream here. So yes, we've got 233 packs, just bought a t Oh, first pack, check that out. We've got ourselves a Heat Factory and a Tyranitar GX. Everything here is new first pack. Uh, starting off with some good luck there, that is awesome. Now, I just, uh, I just opened like an obnoxiously large amount of Lost Thunder here at Full Grip Games. So I know like all the averages and can tell you that uh, jump bluffs are like way harder to get than they should be. Hey, we got a Giratina as well. In fact, all hollow rare, all, all the hollow rares are just like completely impossible to pull because the uh, the prism stars actually take up the same slot as the hollow rare. So you end up getting like almost no hollow rares. The set's like huge, so it's just, <laughs> we've already got two Giratina. I'm telling you, we averaged like uh, two jump bluffs in one case. So that's like six boxes. In six boxes, we were averaging two jump bluff. That is just completely nuts. So uh, I'm hoping that maybe I could get a play set of jump bluff in 233 packs. We've got a second heat factory already, way more than I need. You only need one of each, I uh, only need one of each uh, prism star. Looks like Devo is at the dentist. I've never heard that before, not gonna lie. So you're at the dentist. And how does your dentist feel about you watching a stream while they do dental work on you. I have never, uh, in fact, I think at my dentist, we got a Grand Bull as well. I actually got a Grand Bull deck list up on Patreon for the War Turtle sub video for October. So uh, apparently the Grand Bull deck is actually pretty dope. I know Riley's hype on the Grand Bull deck. Natalie also pretty hype on the Grand Bull deck as well. So we are going to see what we end up pulling here and then trying to, uh, and then try <laughs> trying to uh, try to see if we could build a deck. Riley says that the dentists are not the police. This is true. However, my dentist has like lots of signs that says like no cell phones. We got a septile GX. Check that out. So yeah, lots of doctor's office that I've been in, in are like, yeah, put your cell phones away. Just like plastered all over the walls. They don't want anybody having any fun on their cell phone trying to distract themselves from the agony that is the dentist's office. Got ourselves a skip loom here, so that is pretty dope. Uh, so we need a play set of those for sure. I'm gonna play, literally I'm gonna play whatever I pull. Whatever I can play after I open 233 packs is gonna be what we end up playing today. I've got lists for Blacephalon, uh, which is a possibility, but it looks like we might be uh, taking a fast train to a Gramble deck here. I've got two of them already. I've got a Blacephalon list, I've got a Gramble list, I've got a Sceptile list. Uh, I've got a Lost March list. Those are the decks. Oh, Executor, yes. I might end up building Executor as well. You're a hygienist and I'd watch the stream with a patient. That's awesome. Oh, sweet. We got a Ditto Prism Star. Check that out. This is probably one of my favorite cards from the set. I just love, I love the pose. I think it is so fun. This Ditto, like, what is he doing? Is he about to fight? Is he just confused? Looks like he's like looking at his hands. I don't know. This Ditto is fantastic though. So love Ditto. Ditto is just such a good card. Makes so many decks good. Uh, so many decks better. Scale of one to 10, how hype for Lost Thunder? I'd say an 11. Ooh, check that out. We got ourselves a Lost Blender. Yes, that is sick. Sick, sick. All right, so see career Lost Blender. Not a bad way to start things off. That is incredible. Uh, gonna be tossing that in my Lost March deck. If I get one, I'm telling two Septile GX. All right, maybe we're building a Septile GX deck today. That could be a possibility. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Ditto will be playable in Zorak. Absolutely. I've heard a lot of different opinions about Custom Catcher. I've got some of my friends telling me that Custom Catcher is busted. Some of my friends telling me that they don't think Custom Catcher is all that good. I was skeptical. I didn't think that Custom Catcher was super legit, but Matt Price was telling me uh, otherwise. We got ourselves a white Kurum. They're also pretty difficult to find. I'm telling you, all the hollow rares in the set, difficult to find. It's just uh, I would not be surprised if we end up with uh, with less than a playset of the hollow rares, so that's that's like a tough question. Like, how do you get all the hollow rares you need? Oh my gosh, we've got ourselves a secret rare adventure bag, too. That is insane. We are hot on these secret rares right now. We got secret rare lost blender and adventure bag, and we got a skip bloom, and we got a gravile busted pack, broken, filthy, busted, dirty pack. Uh, that is awesome there. So sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, Gus is asking if he could send me a list. Anytime you guys want to send me a list, go ahead. You could do it on Twitter is the best way to do that at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend. We've got ourselves a trombone. Hey, check out first trombone here with that mountain pass ability. This is probably one of my favorite cards from the set. What's not to love? First of all, Trumbeak. Second of all, look at your opponent's top deck. Third of all, you might loss own it. I love this thing. So good. So, so cool. And Professor Elm's lecture there, or <laughs> I've been calling this uh, I've been making a whole bunch of goofy names for these these cards. This is a uh, Professor Helms Lecter, is what, <laughs> or Professor Lecter, uh, is what I've been calling it. Gosh, ridiculous! All right, so uh, the unknown. Oh, I should look at the unknown. I'll look at the next unknown I got. All right, let's see. Got ourselves an Azumarill. All right, pseudo wudo counter gain. I think counter gain is one of those cards that could potentially end up being good in something eventually as well. Just uh, not quite good yet, or maybe it is. I just don't know what to put it in. We got ourselves another Lost Blender. Crazy how I pulled the Secret Rare one before I pulled a, a regular Lost Blender. Yes, Grumpus, I've got lots of pulls, lots and lots of pulls. I've got like a few Septile GX and two Secret Rares. I got an Adventure Bag or a, uh, a little Fanny Pack, uh, or I've also got myself a, I don't know, what other secret rare did I pull? I got the Lost Mixer Blender thing. Shedinja, very cool. Shedinja is very good. And another Trombone. Hey, working on our play set of trombones out here. Excellent. Mahone, have you played Super Smash Brothers or have you heard of it? Yes, I've heard of it. Natalie really wants me to get her Super Smash Brothers, the new one for Christmas. We've got ourselves a spell tag, sweet. Uh, she really wants me to get her the new Super Smash Brothers for Christmas. I heard that there's a Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Brothers happening today. Back-to-back -back spell tags. Sick. So that's pretty exciting. And we got a Xerneas Prism Star. Check that out. I actually think that this car is not bad. It's not great. Like It's not game-breaking, but it's just like a decent fairy Pokemon. Anytime you see a fairy basic with 160 hit points, you got to look at it. You know, what's your deal? Uh, once during your turn, when this uh, Pokemon moves from your bench to become your active, you remove a number, any number of energy from your other Pokemon to it. So it can easily just uh, kind of be an attacker here in a Guardi deck or something like that. And then Bright Horns for three fairy energy. This uh, Pokemon cannot use Bright Horns during your next turn. So not a bad card by any means. 160 is just a good amount of damage to do uh, because with a choice band you can reach 190. 190 is just super relevant because it knocks out most Pokemon GX. We have not seen a cake pop yet, uh, have not, and we are about to crack uh, into our 200. We've opened about 30 packs so far, so we've got a long ways to go for sure. There's many <clears throat> people are talking about uh, new characters in the Super Smash Brothers. Tell me a little bit about it. I have not had any chance to look. I've been busy working all day. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are excited about for the Super Smash Brothers. I saw some of my friends talking about it. Apparently Kirby is the main character. Uh, I don't really know what that means though. I, and I've played Smash Brothers. I played a lot in college. Um, and I, uh, I always played with Toon Link. I think Toon Link was my favorite character. I, not too much into Melee, but I did play the Wii version. So uh, I did like the Wii version. I did like Toon Link a lot. 
And, you know, Smash Bros. is one of those games where it's like, I'm okay at it. You know, I, a lot of my friends are way better than me at Smash Brothers, so I enjoy it, but it hurts me to be not as good as my friends are at Smash Brothers. I am better at Mario Kart is definitely my preferred game, but I still got some love for, still got some love for Smash Brothers. Let's see, there's a story mode added to Smash Brothers, we're saying, all right. Lapras is not bad, go for a swim. Kind of a neat little uh, ability there. Uh, let's see. Incineroar, you're telling, Incineroar is in Super Smash Brothers? Is that what you guys are telling me? Is this real? Or is this, or am I being memed on right now? Incineroar is like actually in the game, like for real, for real? That would be crazy. Actually, whoa, there we go. We got an Alolan Ninetales GX full art. Oh yeah, this card is sick. Sick, sick, sick. Great card all around. Gonna be in a ton of decks. That's awesome. Honestly, and Incineroar seems like a fighter Pokemon. He's got these big, broad shoulders, big arms. I could see Incineroar being in some Ash Brothers. That's awesome. Now, all right, I, I was reading something about like, uh, the Smash community disagreeing on whether this rumor was true or not. Uh, is it another one, Shedinja? Is it true that, Ban is Banjo-Kazooie gonna be in the game? I heard like some rumors that Banjo is gonna be in the game. Is that not true or is that completely debunked? What do we got here? A Genesect GX, Rainbow Rare. Uh, pretty cool card here. Not what I was hoping for in Rainbow Rare, but we'll, uh, we'll rock with it. Double Drive is a good ability. I think the card has potential. Just needs a, uh, you know, needs something to go with it. Uh, Banjo's not in it, that leak was a fake. Oh no, I like Banjo-Kazooie, that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. Moltres, everybody's favorite fire chicken type Pokemon. Will Ninetales be replacing Sylveon in Gardevoir decks? I don't know about replacing, but maybe like in addition to. Got ourselves another Grovile there and also an Ingest. It's possible though that the Ninetales does just completely replace it. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. Uh, that's what I'm excited to do here on stream is just get some of these decks built up and then I can get to testing them to see what, you know, Ninetales or what uh, Guardi lists end up really looking like. I think that Guardi is just a very, very good Oh yeah! Got our first Sib Striker there, actually really excited about that. Such a good card, that Sprint ability. Did you see that Japanese Ultra Shiny GX set? Yes, I did, Justin, and that set looks insane. I really, really want one. Oh, thank you, I ate the internet. Appreciate it, thank you for the donation. You rock, you rock, you rock, you rock. Love uh, the Tricky Gym content, and as always, hope to randomly match one day. Uh, congrats on the new studio and job too. Thank you, I am I ate the internet. Appreciate the support. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. But yes, I think Guardi still remains very good, and I'm excited to see how Guardi goes. Faba, check this thing out, dude. This card is busted. Honestly, in expanded format, this is going to be a very, very good card. Uh, choose a Pokemon tool or special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon or Stadium card and play it and put it into the Lost Zone. So we all know that Zorosic was a very good card in expanded format. Uh, Zoroark Toad just won the last expanded regional. Jimmy Pendarvis, shout out to him for taking the dub there. Awesome stuff from Jimmy. However, Faba is just really, really good against that Toad deck. The Toad deck only ran four DCE, no way to get him back. Send it to the Lost Zone. Uh, they definitely won't be getting uh, any attacks off and it's going to be great. So I think Faba is very good against the uh, against that Toad Zorark lock deck. Very good against that. And just a pretty good card in general. I mean, in a format with Verse Seeker, it definitely gets much, much better. Let's see, thoughts on Zorora? In Rayquaza, I've been thinking about it. I'm not exactly sure how good it is. I think it's probably belongs in there as like a one of, but uh, I just, ooh, we got ourselves a Naganadel. I think that my problem with Zorora in, in Rayquaza decks is that you don't really play Choice Band right now. I think that they have to deal with non-GX threats. Uh, the things that, 
Zorora offers Vika Ray are not problems that I typically have with Vika Ray. Vika Ray's problems are that it has issues trading with non GX Pokemon. I think that giving everybody free retreat is nice, but maybe not necessarily needed. The GX attack is nice, but again, I don't think that you necessarily need to get more energy into play. I mean, you, you have a, a fine time getting energy into play. That usually is not a problem. The problem is beating these Shrine decks. So Shrine decks are gonna continue to be a thing next format. So if Vika Ray is gonna stick around, Trombone, hey, got ourselves a Trombone. Sick, Trombone. Um, so what is everybody talking about codes in the, uh, what are the little cheat codes? Tony Hawk Pro Skater cheat codes. Anybody play Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Anybody? Play that game growing up that was probably like my favorite video game pokemon and tony hawk pro skater like my two favorite video games growing up love tony hawk tony hawk pro skater 3 busted game tony hawk underground busted game tony hawk pro skater 4 is all right but 3 and underground were my favorites lugia gx all right we got psychic and pel pelagic pelagic blade and then lost Purge GX. I actually pulled a Rainbow Rare Lugia GX. I'm really excited about that. I pulled one in my real uh, my real life box. I got two boxes. Natalie and I got two boxes and then bought a bunch of codes. And I pulled a Rainbow Rare Lugia and I'm really excited about that. Yes, people are saying that they love Tony Hawk. Thank goodness everybody has played Tony Hawk Pro Skater, honestly. And the crazy thing about Tony Hawk Pro Skater is that the game is still good. It is still like a really good game. It has got so much replay value. If you go back and like replay the old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, they're still so much fun. It's like, uh, I don't know if it's just nostalgia for me. I don't think so though. Uh, the game's just, it had good game design, you know? It was just good mechanics and the sound, you know, the soundtracks are awesome. It's just a really, really fun game to play. I know the Skate series is really popular as well. I never had an Xbox, so I never, unfortunately, got to get into the Skate games. Uh, I never had Xbox or PlayStation. I actually only had uh, Nintendo systems. We got another Genesect GX. Oh, help me. Help me. I don't want Genesect GX. <laughs> I need some Cake Pops fast. We're going to need some Cake Pops. I have played American Wasteland as well. That uh, that game is a lot of fun. Riley in there, meme and I mean, did you guys hear that Riley got a job? Shout out to Riley, gonna be moving to Wisconsin. He got a job. We got a Sigalif GX. I was actually looking at this card because I pulled like two in, in the boxes that I got. And I don't think that this card is the worst card that I've ever seen. It actually could do something. The mirror counter ability is like, really good and can put your opponent in some weird spots if they're trying to build like some, you know, if you're trying to build some sort of like mill deck or something like that. Yeah, I just think the card could be interesting. It's interesting for sure. Not a total dud. <laughs> uh, not a total dud. Yes, but Riley got a job. So shout out to Riley. He's going to be leaving us though. You guys are never going to see Riley on my stream again. I don't want to say never, but you know, rarely, much more rarely, you're going to be seeing Riley because Riley is moving out to Wisconsin and he's going to be, I think, some sort of, uh, you know, biological engineer or something. He's going to do something with that big brain of his, uh, that huge, massive brain, Riley. Very, very smart. Mega Superior really wants to be noticed. Hmm, I'll consider it Mega Superior. I'll I will I'll put that one on the on the maybe pile. <laughs> maybe. Come on, let's get ourselves just one cake pop. Can we just get one one please? Blacephalon GX. I would also like more Grand Bulls. More Grand Bulls or more uh, I guess I think I got my two um I think I got my, oh, hey, ask and you shall receive. There is my third Gramble. Uh, notice how we have not opened a Jump Bluff yet, though. No Jump Bluffs. I told you guys the Jump Bluffs are rare, and we have not seen one yet. We are on track to open, like, zero Jump Bluffs. I have 233 packs, and I'm probably going to get none. I just don't know. I don't think that I'm going to get one. Hey, there's unknown missing. Uh, what, your opponent has to have 12 or more supporter cards in the Lost Zone, and you can win the game. That seems like a lot of supporters to chuck into the Lost Zone, 
But never, never fear. Tromboni can get them there. Trombones. Uh, we've got five now. Sweet, sweet stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Brian, for the donation. Thank you, Brian, for the super chat. Once that cake pop luck, hopefully this helps. We've got ourselves a Celebi Prism Star, though. So that's our first one. I don't think that this card is very good, but you never know if there ends up just being that one combination that makes this card good, a, a card that you want to devolve. It could be very, very good. But thank you guys so much to everybody who's donated so far. You guys are awesome. And I really, really appreciate it. All right. Hey, Brian, it worked. It worked. Oh, yeah. Brian donated for the cake pop luck, and we got it. Blacephalon GX. Yes. Our first one, making it happen, Brian. You are the man. You are the man for sure. So we've got one in the bank, our Cake Pop GXs. Now we just need like three more. So that would be great. And we could actually build this deck. We also need a couple of Naganadels as well. The deck is not happening without Naganadel for sure. We need to find a few of those. I think we've opened one. Got another Elector here, playset Electors, sweet. And another Ninetales GX, hey, I'll take it. This card is great. Uh, two Alolan Ninetales GX, that's fantastic. That's probably as many Alolan Ninetales GX as I need to build just about any deck. So that's incredible. That is just super, super lucky for sure. Oh, and Mimikyu GX. Sean would be excited. Mimikyu is Sean's favorite Pokemon, and he's very upset that this Mimikyu is not very good. Uh, and let's take a second to appreciate Mimikyu's attack. If you were to ever play this card in a deck, you would have to let's snuggle and fall to deal damage. I feel like that has to be some sort of mistranslation or something. Let's snuggle and fall? Like, do they mean let's snuggle and fall asleep? Uh, I don't, let's snuggle and fall? It doesn't make any sense. Why does Mimikyu want to snuggle and then fall on the ground? It makes no sense uh, at all. So I think uh, these cards can be played on PTCGO like right now, right? Like it's live. I'm allowed to just put these into a deck and play with it. Or do I have to wait until tomorrow to play with them? Uh, I don't know. So somebody answer me that question. Can I play with these cards in decks right now? I haven't actually done my research, so I don't know. But I would like to put them into decks and play them right now. Uh, they can be played. Thank you, Beaver Bye. Thank you. Appreciate it. I am going to be putting them in decks and then playing them right now then. Uh, at the very least, we can throw some we could throw some Alolan Ninetales into a Guardi deck. So Dankus in the chat. Everybody say hi to Andrew Dankus. Hi Dankus. Appreciate it. Dude! We got ourselves another cake pop. Oh yeah. Two Blessephalon GX. And I love the regular art. I actually love like all of the artwork for Blessephalon GX. I think that all three of them look completely insane. Uh, I think they look amazing. This is one of my favorite new Pokemon for sure. Now, it does scare me a little bit that that uh, there's this Alolan Executor deck that you know Natalie has been talking about, and you play the Sceptile in there, and you make all of your Pokemon with Grass Energy attached to them immune to Ultra Beasts, just like what? Uh, you make them all immune to Ultra Beast? Dude, Cake Pops play all Ultra Beast Pokemon. There is not a single, just Lele is it. There, other than Lele, there is no uh, there is no non-Ultra Beast Pokemon. Everybody's an Ultra Beast. So that is a little bit tough. Not exactly sure if Blacephalon has a way to get, uh, I'm not sure if Blacephalon has a way to get around that Sceptile. Super rough. Aaron Caldera says he found a 100% Sneasel in Pokemon Go the other day. That is awesome. So shout out to Aaron. That is super sweet. I actually found one. I would be like mad, mad jelly, but I found one as well. We got a Verizion GX with that double draw. If there's one thing that Verizion likes to do, likes to draw cards, double draw. And we've also got a familiar sensitive blade as well. Remember that from the fighting type Glade, except instead of a DCE, it costs two grass energy and then breeze away. Put any number of your Pokemon in play and all cards attach them into your hand. Interesting stuff there. Not a bad card. I love that double draw and breeze away both are colorless energy requirements. So that's super cool. Natalie is in the chat. Shout out to Natalie. Thank you, Natalie, for showing up. You are awesome. Awesome, awesome. 
So yeah, what can we do? Let's brainstorm, chat. What can we do? Dude, yes, we are gonna be building Cake Pops tonight. We're making it happen. Let's go. We're gonna be playing Blessephalon here in a matter of minutes. We are on a Blessephalon tear right now. This is sick. Love it. This is the card we wanted. Dude, shout out to Brian. You made it happen, Brian. You made it happen. You gave us the cake pop luck. And we are now on tear. That is insane, dude. We have opened three cake pops in like less than 15 packs or so. That has been absolutely nutty. So how many we got left? 134. We got about maybe four boxes of packs left. About that, right? Yeah, about, about four-ish. A little less than four uh, boxes worth of packs to go. So let's see what we could get. Can we finish off the Blessephalon deck? That would be sick. Uh, that would be awesome for sure. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Cake Pops are only 12 packs. Yikes. I could definitely, I feel like the, the Nine Tails is probably expensive. What's the most expensive card in uh, in Lost Thunder right now. What's the most expensive card to trade for? And I don't mean like Rainbow Rare, just like uh, the regular the regular art. I haven't had a chance to go look yet. We could go look, you know, as a group. I could bring us all over to the trade section. We could go go check. Mega Man with the donation. Hyper Rare Cake Pop time. Thank you, Mega Man, for the super chat. You rock. Appreciate it. Let's get ourselves a Hyper Rare Cake Pop. That would be insane, insane, insane. So. Definitely hoping for that. Thank you, Mega Man, for the donation for sure. Um, is Nine Tails is Nine Tails the most expensive? Or I don't I don't mean like full arts. Like I know the full arts are going to be expensive. I know my Lost Blender is probably expensive. This is busted packs have Strike uh, and Giratina. I mean like the Pokemon. What's the hardest Pokemon to get? Is it just the regular Nine Tails? Nine Tails DX is that like twenty packs or something? Probably something crazy like that. So the pulls have been pretty good then if we're, uh, you know, if the Nine Tails are the most expensive card. And then Blacephalon's up there as well. So pretty rad that we've got our three Blacephalon. We just need a fourth one. Frazier, I had some people on uh, Pokemon Go on the Discord server for Patreon subs. I actually have a section on the Discord server, uh, the Patreon exclusive Discord server, where I have my friend code down there. But since there are only like 200 friend slots or something on Pokemon Go, I don't just like I don't just give it away to everybody. So it is a little bit limited, but it is on Discord for the Patreon subs. That's where you can find that. Or if you happen to have a friend that is, <laughs> if you have a friend that is a Patreon sub, you can message your friend and ask. The, that is uh, that is how that goes. We got an Ampharos and another Grovile here. We got an entire play set of Grovile, so that is pretty sweet. Oh, Natalie's got to go. All right. So thank you for popping in, Natalie. Appreciate it. We've got six lectors, so that's good. Looking good on those counts so far. This Alolan Persian is just so, so goofy. Anybody look at that? It's so goofy. So ugly. Honestly, I don't, I don't know about that Alolan Persian. Honestly, it kind of sketches me out. But I would like you guys all to take a moment to appreciate the fact that we have been here for a long time and have not opened a jump fluff yet. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a look. I got 119 packs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open 19 more packs and then we're gonna get to 100, right? We're gonna get to 100 exactly. And then I'm gonna go wander over into the trade section and we're gonna look at how much it costs to trade for jump luffs because I I want to play Lost March, okay? I just really wanna play Lost March, but uh, I got them from Full Grip Evie. I got them from Full Grip. So pretty sure FullGripGames.com still has maybe about 800 codes for sale. So if anybody wants codes, you can go check them out there. And Sean will email them to you. Uh, so yes, the jump bluffs are very hard to find. I would like to play Lost March. So we're going to wander over to trade and we're going to see how much a jump bluff costs in trade right now. Or if anybody wants to shortcut me and tell me how much... Uh, a jump bluff cost in trade right now. That would be fantastic. I'm thinking if they're like five packs, I think we just trade the five packs for you know some jump bluffs. Like I would sack 20 packs to get myself a play set of jump bluff. Because as we can see, Suicune GX. Check that out, everybody's favorite water dog. Very cool. They cost about 350. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it. 
That is uh that sounds good. All right, what do we got going on here? Celebi Prism Star. Celebi Prism Star and a Foretris. Let's see. There aren't any for trade, Beaver says. No, that is bad. No Lost Thunder uh, jump luffs for trade. Sad. So you're telling me we are going to have to find them the hard way. Uh, that That's unfortunate. You don't think Lost March is good? I think Lost March is at least fun. I at least want to play it right now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I at least want to check it out. But if we can't find any jump fluffs, it ain't. It just ain't gonna happen. So uh, that is uh, that is what we got going on here. We got a Guardi. I actually think this Guardi is pretty good, honestly. Sensitive Ray here, seventy plus ninety more. If you played a supporter this turn, I think that Guardi is pretty good in the Guard of War decks. Just gives you a nice non-GX option. Very, very good. Um, so I could create a trade for Jump Left. You're right. I should probably do that. I can do that. I'll just like trade a bunch of GXs that I don't want for uh, for Jump Luffs, and we'll see if anybody bites on them. I think that that's probably what we'll do. And Pancake, I'm telling you, we're not going to get a play set of Jump Luffs. I've opened 130 packs at this point. Lost Blender, sick. It's our fifth one. Very cool. And Lucimine Prism Star, that is our first one. So excellent, excellent stuff. We have not opened a single one. Not reverse, not regular, not nothing. Uh, I'm thinking that we're best off, we do have a, almost a play set of Giratina at this point. I'm pretty sure I've opened all of them. So if my Giratinas were just jump luffs instead, then we would be fine. But unfortunately, we are on the Giratina chain. That's cool though, because Giratina is its own deck. So I can build a Giratina deck here, potentially, eventually, something like that. I have to look and see what a Giratina list would look like. I haven't actually built it uh, yet. I haven't built it in real life. I haven't built it theoretically. I haven't even built it in my mind, but apparently Giratina is a card that people are hype on. So got a hundred packs remaining here. I'm pretty confident that we can get ourselves a final cake pop, but the, the Lost March train, I think that that is just not happening tonight. So we're going to have to wait until that card kind of dies down. We do have our fourth Gramble though, so we can build Grand Bull, that is excellent. We have everything we need to build Grand Bull. So I'm ready for that for sure. I can build Grand Bull. Someone's saying Cofagragus Giratina for the win TCG. Cofagragus Giratina is going to be insane. But my issue is uh, actually, not as Brian says that. Uh, and then for the win also says that. So what is the synergy? I guess I get the synergy between Cofagragus and Giratina. Giratina, does it place two or three damage counters when it comes from the discard pile? I guess that makes sense. My biggest issue with Cofagragus, and we've got like our third Genesect GX. Alrighty then, that's fine. So, uh, Henry, I need four Jump Luff. So if you have three, that is pretty sick, Henry. I will create a trade, honestly. And uh, check this out. Uh, I will I will go into the trade. If anybody's got jump luffs, I'm just going to create a bunch of trades, public offers. Uh, let's see, my trade offers. Create a trade. Here we go. Public trade. We're going to do that. And I'm going to put a bunch of stuff that I want to trade away for jump luffs. So let's do a filter here. And we're going to look for stuff from the newest set. Uh, where is the newest set here? Lost Thunder. Very good. And then we're also going to take, uh, we want like Pokemon GX. Yeah, 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 Pokemon GX, where are they at? Pokemon GX, all right, apply. So we're gonna find, oh, I also want to only find ones that I have. Can I do that? Uh, ones that I own, uh, where is that, uh, where is that little thing? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, I've got three Blacephalon, I've got Mad Genesex. You can literally have my Hyper Rare Genesex. I'm gonna add one of those. And what I want is I want a jump luff. All right, there we go. Jump luff, very cool. And so if anybody wants to, uh, let's see, not in my, there are no items of this type in your collection. Ah, I need to untag the filter, okay. Um, let's see here. You guys, bear with me here real quick. We're trying to get some jump luffs, all right. This is the one, no, where is it? Oh, not in my, why, why can't I? Oh, I am giving, nah. You guys, you guys see what I did here. Okay, very bad. So I don't want that. I am giving, 
I'm getting a jump bluff. Okay, I did this completely backwards. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> See how often I do this? Uh, all right, we got jump bluff. Very good. <laughs> uh, so let's go get ourselves a jump bluff, please. Uh, very cool, and yes, here is Lost March Jump Bluff, there we go. So I want one Jump Bluff, and I am willing to offer up my Genesect GX. All right, here we go, Genesect. Anybody wants a Rainbow Rare Genesect? Let's see, I don't want any filters. My Rainbow Rare Genesect is up for grabs. There you go, boom, all right. And I would like to create the trade, please, done. Uh, and we'll do eight hours, post-trade. Sweet, all right, so. On to another one. We're gonna make another trade offer, guys. Let's make it happen, public trade. And then uh, I've learned, I've learned so much. I'm gonna get a jump luff again. We're gonna do that, jump luff. And uh, we're gonna try that, enter. And we've got one regular arch jump luff and I would like to give away two more Genesect GX. All right, so anybody, uh, no filters, take those off, all right. Two more Genesect GX. You guys can get two more Genesect GX, and you can even get a Suicune GX. <laughs> I'm willing to part with a Suicune GX as well. Look at all that, done. All right, eight hours. Busted trades, honestly. Sweet. Let's see, Mahone, dude up top just offered a jump for a netball. For one netball? All right, well, I'll make a, I'll make a jump off for a netball if someone wants to. I need a netball, but I don't know if I have any. Uh, I see you, Carl. Sorry, I'm just using every single brain cell in my body to try and create trades. <laughs> you guys will notice when I have to read, like if I have to read something, uh, almost no other of my sensory, uh, my sensory abilities can be utilized, which is very frustrating, save for like, uh, you know, Natalie, my girlfriend, who is like, will try to talk to me sometimes. And if I'm reading something, game over. It's not happening. All right, jump love. Jump love. All right, so we're gonna put another jump luff in here. And uh, we will, yes, place one jump luff into the trader. And we are gonna offer up one net ball. Net ball. Net. Take my filter off, please. All right, net ball. I don't think I have a net ball yet. Uh, it's possible. Let's see, net ball. Do I have a net ball? I do not have a net ball yet. All right, so none of that. We're gonna go back to crack of packs. Uh, would you like to discard the trade? Yes. So, I've got some stuff up for trade. If anybody wants my Genesex, or just generally wants to help me out, I've got some trades out there. Let's uh, go to, no, we don't wanna go to shop, we wanna go to our collection. <laughs> Andrew, uh, Beaver, I will make eggs, I promise. I promise I'll make the egg deck. I think I have everything that I need. What do I look at, oh, did someone offer me up something? Is everybody trying to tell me to go somewhere? Where's the trainers? Oh, you guys, oh, is it because, uh, did I open a netball? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, let's let's go back. All right, we're gonna figure it out. Trade, okay. Sweet, let's make it happen. <laughs> I wish Andrew knew how to read. <laughs> all right, create trade. I would like to create a public trade, please. All right, here we go. So, uh, let's see, we want, I'm gonna give some netballs. Oh, I see, the trainer tab, very good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everybody's getting to see uh, me in real life here. Oh, I have seven netballs, that's fantastic. All right, I can trade like two of those for one jump luff. Here we go, jump luff. And let's uh, let's do that, very good. All right, so two netballs for one jump luff, broken trade, all right. Somebody take me off on that, take me up on that. Eight hours, very good. So, very good, all right. And then we'll do one more thing. Uh, I don't know, I got that Lost Blender. We could uh, we could make it happen. All right, uh, I could trade the Lost Blender away, but we're gonna, I wanna go back to, to crack and Packs. I am, I've had my fill of creating trades. That was, that took too many brain cells to do all that. We've got ourselves 94 packs of Lost Thunder left. 94 packs of Lost Thunder, so we're gonna make that happen. Uh, and we are, I think I'm gonna open at least one jump luff. I'm gonna open at least one, I think. We'll get one in 233 packs. We'll get one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hensky, I know. Uh, imagine if it's frustrating, Sigaloof. If it's frustrating for you guys watching me, just imagine what it's like to be inside my head and then trying to operate anything. 
Another net ball. Sweet. Imagine trying to just live inside here. It's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating and painful, but it's okay. It's just all my all my brain cells are going to other things and just cannot be allocated to reading right now. Open another. We got a Gramble. Fifth Gramble there. So we are in on the Gramble deck. Definitely going to be showing that off tonight. Excited to do that. First Zorora GX. Six, six stuff. Thunderclap zone. Each of your Pokemon that has any lightning energy attached to it has no retreat cost. Plasma Fist and Full Voltage GX. I think this card is actually really good. I think that Zorora GX has some potential for sure and that uh, it'll get played somewhere somehow. I don't know exactly how yet. I haven't quite figured that out. Full Art Lugia as well. I think that's like my second Lugia altogether. Sweet. We got the Lugia GX. Super hyped on that. Uh, like I said earlier, I pulled a Rainbow Rare Lugia GX in real life. I'm going to send that guy off to PSA. I have a Full Art. Oh, yeah. We got a Mina as well. Mina or Mina? I don't know, Mina or Mina. I love this card though. I think this card is super sweet. Search your deck for a fairy energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Very, very cool card, love it. I think the artwork on that card is just absolutely uh, amazing. And I know, Carl, I find myself asking the same thing. I don't even know what the word pelagic means. Uh, or I have no idea. And you know, I, I feel like I know a lot of words and pretty good on my diction. But uh, pelagic, pelagic, no, no idea. Is it like a paladin? Is it have? Is it kind of like that? You know, you imagine like paladin is like uh, someone who heals. So is there like a, a word root like pella? Does that have to do with healing? Yes, yes, yes. We did it. We've got our fourth Blacephalon GX Cake Pop Zone coming to a stream near you. <laughs> yes, Riley. <laughs> I know a lot of words. My words is real good. So we got it, Placephalon GX, and all four of them were the same artwork. Couldn't get any luckier than that. That is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Why is it telling me 10 times? You guys saw that. It told me 10 times that my trade was complete. How many jump luffs do we have now? I actually want to see. Do I have jump luffs? I imagine somebody took me up on the jump luff. We've got two jump left. All right, so we are close to be able <laughs> to build uh, that subtle Riley burn. No, Riley is not subtle about his burns. He's out here with the with the flamethrower. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. So we've got two jump mans. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Man, we got two more to go. So we'll continue cracking stuff. I'm pretty sure that I can eventually uh, get enough stuff to just trade for more jump man. So we'll just do that. If we don't open any jump mans, we'll be cool. I also need, does pelagic of or relating to open sea? Thank you, Gamma Fighter, for clearing that up. I was very curious. So now I know. I could see that. Uh, Oh yeah, busted pack. Check this pack out. We got ourselves a Lost Blender. We've got ourselves a Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. And we've got ourselves an Alola Ninetales GX busted pack, broken, filthy, disgusting pack. Awesome stuff. So that is fantastic. Word, we are almost there. Sick, sick, sick. We are so close to building Jumpman. We are, <laughs> we got another Mimikyu GX. Bro, let's snuggle and fall. Let's snuggle and fall, bros. That is a, uh, that's totally normal and not a weird attack name at all. <laughs> not at all. So we just need one more jump man. We got our first jump man. Wasn't even a real one, it was a reverse one, but that's fine. I'm fine with the reverse jump man. That is totally appropriate. Unknown hand. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you may use this ability. If you do, you win the game. Unknown hand, that is probably the best one. Honestly, I think unknown hand has like real life potential because there are some stall decks like Steelix that just uh, run your opponent out of resources. So if your opponent doesn't have like Lusamine and like two Lusamine or something in a judge, if they don't have like a way to just like continuously loop you back to four, you will just like win the game. So I think that unknown hand will be a staple in like the Steelix deck and allow you to just win games that you wouldn't have won otherwise for sure. Definitely, definitely a possibility. And a cool card, honestly. I love that the stall decks have like an alternative win condition now. They don't need to win by deck out. They can win by hand size, right? 
Whitney in the house. I love the artwork on this card. I think this thing is totally fire. Just a super cool card. And my friend, again, Matt Price, was telling me that he loves Whitney and Expanded. You can play Battle Compressor and Versus Seeker. Discard all your Whitneys and then just Versus Seeker for Whitney and draw like eight cards. We have done it. We are the champions. Q, we are the champions right now. Netball and a Jumpman. We did it. Sick! We got there. Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. Coming to a stream near you momentarily, but I've got like 70 more packs to go. So, that is pretty rad. Pretty rad. Excited about that. You know what I'm not excited about? This card right here. Obviously, the ugliest mug to exist in all of Lost Thunder. Why did they do this to me? Why do they give me a gigantic Bruxish? This is like the ugliest Pokemon. You got the most annoying name to say. Just a hideous card. Sorry, Bruxish. Sorry, not sorry. Just, you know, ew. And, and we've had to just, you've been on my screen so much. We've also got five Shuckle here. So let's uh, take a moment to just acknowledge the fact that we have been blessed with five Shuckle. Very good. This has got to be my new favorite card. I have never realized. <laughs> I've never realized this, but Shuckle's attack is called Energy Drink. I too have energy drinks. <laughs> Me and Shuckle. Me and Shuckle got a lot in common, and I didn't realize this about Shuckle that Shuckle gets down with energy drinks, but I also get down with energy drinks. So I see you here, Shuckle, with your energy drink. I dig it. But Shuckle, the real reason we're excited about Shuckle is because of that fresh squeezed ability, which is going to be going straight into our Alolan executor deck so that is awesome uh the shuckle back-to-back -back mantines dope but that shuckle is going to be going straight into a lolan executor and you can search the shuckle out with your grovile the grovile is like insane and the grovile gets any grass pokemon you want from your deck and into uh, your hand so that's awesome right and then you can just uh, use the ability another Genesect GX. Sick. All right. Because I think I just traded all my Genesect GXs away. So, Emil, I'm telling you, I opened over 130 packs and did not get one Jumpman. And then I just got two Jumpmans in uh, the span of like 10 packs. So there's just no rhyme or reason. So, you know, there's two Genesects in like three packs. It's absolutely insane. Let's see, Baby uh, X Uber got 20 Lost Thunder Packs again. Someone want to trade me for Jump Fluff. Uh, Jump Fluff's hard to come by, I'm telling you. It's just a really, really difficult card to find for sure. You should try a Giratina list, whether it's Confagrigus or maybe Spread. I will try one eventually. I have just not built one quite yet. So that's on my list of things to do. But I am really excited about the fact that I've got all these cake pops here. And uh, I don't know how many Naganadel I got though. I think I may have only opened one or maybe two. So we could check out that situation as I start to get kind of lower on resources because I would really like to build Naganadel uh, Blacephalon as well. So we're definitely going to be hitting that up for sure. And we're going to build Lost March for sure. And that probably is a good place to start. I also, you know, can build the Grand Bowl. I also can build the Alolan eggs. I actually don't know if I own any Alolan eggs, though, to be honest. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I do. I'm going to check the Naganadel situation. Because <clears throat> the Naganadel situation could be troubling. Um, so I'm going to say done here for a second. We're going <laughs> to go back into the cursed trade section. So guys, uh, bear with me here for a second. Oh my gosh. All right, what is the Naganadel? Naganadel. Yes, we have one. I have one Naganadel. So we're going to need some more. So we're going to have to go back to the Cursed Trade section. No! Guys, bear with me here for a second. All right, my trade offers. Here we go. Create trade. I no longer want... Uh, that's fine. I'll do the jump bluff. That's fine. All right, public trade. Now, let's find some nice cards from, I am getting a, would like some Naganado. Naganade, Naganad. Yeah, we're just, I don't really know how to spell that card. So that's fine. Naganado, there we go. We would like uh, probably one that matches the one we already had. <clears throat> and then, uh, I don't know, let's just uh, look at all of our Lost Thunder cards. So Lost Thunder, apply it, and let's let's search. Can we do that? 
No, you're not gonna let me search anything. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see, what, what can we trade away? We've got tons of, uh, I don't know, Giratina. I feel like we have a lot of Giratinas. Maybe we have an extra one. I actually have four exactly, so that is a no-go. How about the White Curum? People are into that card. Uh, so I'll do White Curum, see if we could trade that. Sure, I will trade, did I get? No, that's the wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll trade my one White Curum for one Naginata. I'll see if anybody bites on that, cool. We'll do that, that seems fair. And then I need one more Naginadel. I'm gonna create another public offer here. Yep, create trade, very good. And I would like to create a public trade. I would also like one more Naginadel, please. Naginadel, sure, do that. And then I will offer up, what other cool cards have I gotten here? Let's do, uh, I don't know, Lost Thunder, and uh, Pokemon GX, let's look at all those, apply. Cool, I think I have like way more, yeah, Sceptiles than I need in my life. No, I'm still on the, why? All right, so we gotta do this again. We're gonna go over, yes, we want our GX, very good, apply, and then uh, no, I just want, why, do, why does it, why does it have to do this? Uh, Lost Thunder, sure, and for trade, oh, this is why, it okay, got it, that for trade thing is like totally, let's see, tagged for trade, no, I don't want anything tagged. Lost Thunder, GX Pokemon, done, tag that, boom, there they are, got them. So we'll do, uh, yeah, like two Sceptiles for one Naginadel, busted trade, all right, somebody, somebody take me up on that. And we're in. I have made two trade offers for Naginadels, and hopefully somebody wants uh, wants them. And that is what we got. I'm gonna open a little bit more. I only need three Naginadels. Might pull one still. You never know. Uh, but I want to kind of be on my way to getting some. If anybody sees those trades there, maybe if they want some Sceptiles and they just have one. Naginadel, then they will uh, take me up on that. Sweet stuff. All right, got like 60 more packs, like two more boxes worth of Lost Thunder here. Tons of Lost Thunder. Hopefully you guys are, I don't know, if you guys are having a good time checking out the Lost Thunder pulls here. Hopefully you guys had some good luck in your own Lost Thunder pulls as well. If you guys are cracking packs yourself, usually I end up just, uh, honestly, I'll just open, uh, I'll just trade for the cards I need. I and mean, that's kind of what I do most often, but honestly on day one, I've gotten to the point where now I want to like stream Lost Thunder on the day that the set drops, right? So there's like trading for cards on day one is very difficult. So if I wanna get cards to play with day one, which I do because I love you guys and because I love just being one of the first people out here with Lost Thunder decks, that's like a lot of fun as well. Uh, so totally required, but yes, then you pretty much need to just rip the rip the cards yourself. Trading is like pretty difficult, so. And also you just like need to rip cards to get them out into the market, you know? Like somebody's gotta open cards. If everybody just sat back and decided they wanted to trade packs for cards, then no cards would exist, right? So somebody's gotta open cards and get them out onto the trade market there for everybody to enjoy, so. It's been exciting also. I think uh, I love the, the rush opening four. We got our four cake pops all matching artwork, all by ourselves, just open them. And with the blessings of you guys uh, who have been donating for Cake Pop Luck. So appreciate that for sure. Appreciate that for sure. Double Mantine again. All right, I see you Mantine with your Mantine Surf. Sweet stuff. We've got 49 packs remaining. So just, uh, I'm not impacting the market, Riley, but if everybody, you know what I'm saying. Oh, we got a Garatina, nice. If everybody decided they wanted to trade, then the market would be, you know what I mean? There just would be no, there would be no market. So I, you know, I like being a part of the opening process, Riley. That's all I'm trying to say, Riley, all right? Riley. <laughs> so I'm trying to say, Mr. Wisconsin, all right? Mr. Leaving Me and never gonna see me again because he's moving to Wisconsin. Verizian GX Suite and another netball. Got nine netballs, plenty of netballs. So far, we have only seen just that one, sec two secret rares. We got two secret rares. I got the the adventure bag and the lost blender, and I got them both like in the first ten packs. Appreciate it, Mark. Thank you. Really excited about the studio. 
but we haven't seen another secret rare in like over a hundred packs. I know, Dankus, we're all set. Dankus, you should just go ahead and move to the greater Akron area, and then we can all be friends and try to cope with our loss of Riley, okay? So just move on over, Dankus. I mean, whatever job you got, Dankus, it's fine. I'm sure you can find a job here. We need more friends. That would be fantastic. Another lost blender there. Naganade is in the theme deck, so you're telling me I could buy the theme deck, but I'm pretty sure I just blew all of my coins yesterday on uh, buying Heart Gold Soul Silver packs, and apparently I pulled a secret rare Gyarados, and I didn't know it, so shout out to anybody who noticed that. I uh, I did not. That was just whoo, over my head. I got some like shining Gyarados. The red Gyarados was super sweet, but didn't even notice it. Thought it was just a regular, regular card. Thank you, Poke Tally. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. If you find any Naganadels, let me know. I need one more Naganadel. Andrew Dankus, but my studio is here. Thank you, Helon. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the donation. You rock. You are the best. Thank you. Thank you for the kindness and for everybody who's donated. You guys are incredible and uh, just are so supportive. Y'all are amazing amazing keep me doing what i do out here so appreciate it been posted up in the studio i love the new studio by the way so if this is your first time seeing the new studio space welcome to my new dojo here at full grip games and shout out to full grip games for hooking me up with this space it's been incredible shout out to everybody who could probably hear me out in the full grip games area out there who is being nice and quiet making for some very good audio shout out to you guys as well shout out to dj and julian and sean but yeah full grips has been awesome uh hooking me up with this space and uh also uh just supporting me in general as a content creator and giving me a job so all that stuff full grips uh, really really hooked me up with all that and uh, shout out to everybody who has also bought stuff from FullGripGames.com and supported us. This is the first time we ever did a pre-order for a set of Pokemon. We're just getting in to the Pokemon side of the trading card game business. And this is like our first like real big, you know, kind of entry into that. We bought more Lost Thunder than we have of any other sealed Pokemon product ever. And the launch has been absolutely incredible. So shout out to everybody who pre-ordered cards and those pre-orders uh, have uh, all been shipped out. So that's been amazing. And then also, uh, shout out to everybody who's buying singles from them now. So we still got uh, a lot of singles. Oh, the trade's complete. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, hopefully we got ourselves some Naganadels. Does anybody know why this is telling me that the trade is complete like 100 times? What is going on here? This is anybody, any 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 idea as to what just happened to me here? Or um, Yikes. All right, that was a lot. But yes, uh, shout out to Full Grip Games and make sure to go check out Full Grip Games. I know a lot of our uh, a lot of our stock got bought out. We uh, we opened like close to a hundred booster boxes, literally insane. Uh, we opened a ton. First full art Tyranitar, sick. Uh, but thank you, Helen, for the donation. There am I going to? I don't know what that word is. So. Uh, and I, I feel, uh, I don't know what that, I don't know what that word is. Yes, but I don't know. Um, am I going to Anaheim? Yes, I am going to Anaheim. So I am going to that regional championships. We've got a rainbow rare Mancargo GX. Uh, so that is pretty dope. Mancargo, sweet Pokemon. And I can't believe we actually, I think we might not have seen one yet. So that might be our first Meg Cargo, which is uh, incredible. But yes, I'm going to the Anaheim Regional Championships. I'm also trying to go to the regionals in Texas. So excited about that. Uh, excited about that. But yes, like I was saying, the uh, a lot of the a lot of the stock has been bought out, but we still have a lot of GXs and stuff like that on fullgripgames.com if you want to go check that out and still have some codes as well. So we do still have some stuff available online if you want to go check that out. If you're in the market for codes, we definitely got codes and I know Sean will email them to you personally. So still got those on uh, the website. Yeah, jump luffs are a no-go, dude. Sorry, Zach. Jump luffs are, are out. We actually, uh, yes, tapped out completely of jump luffs. And I'm telling you, uh, our averages was two jump luffs a case. Two a case. You guys have seen me opening. I've opened 200 
packs so far. I only have, what do I got? I have 19 packs left. I have opened over 200 packs of Lost Thunder, and I have found two Jump Luff. Just two. That's it. Two Jump Luff. So, uh, that is super, super tough for everybody looking to find Jump Luffs, I'm telling you. And we got our own Naganadel, so that's our third one. Awesome. We've got all the Naganadels we need to build Cake Pops. We've got all the Jump Luffs we need to build Lost March. Um, yes, so the, the Jump Luffs are totally sold out. We've got a couple Giratinas left and another Zorora. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But uh, as far as staples go, is like, you know, we got Trumbeaks, we've got Elms, we've got uh, all that stuff, Hop Ips, you know, we've got tons and tons of that stuff. You guys could go check that out. Uh, that is all on Full Grip if you're looking to order those kinds of cards. We've also got, um, you know, like Lost Blenders and things like that. And uh, also some GXs. Uh, some of our GXs are looking a little thin. Pretty sure the Blacephalons just went so fast. Like all of them just sold three Rainbow Rare Blacephalons last night. Uh, and then all the other Cake Pops just got eaten up. I mean, they just went so quick. And then uh, Alolan Ninetales pretty much bought out as well. Uh, so the popular ones, they went really fast. But we still got, uh, still got a decent amount of stuff up on the website if you want to go check that out. And thank you so, so much to everybody who has supported the store, supported me as an employee, honestly. Like I said, uh, I switched, switched jobs up. Uh, and I'm gonna be working here, working as Full Grip's media person first and foremost. So gonna be doing like advertisements and commercials for them as a as a company. But I also I also do card shop life. Like I just work in the card shop. Like I pull orders. I'm gonna be sorting cards and you know inventorying things, all that. So that stuff as well. But then also supporting them through uh, you know through the use of the channel here. So all that's been really important to me as a content creator and the future of this channel for sure, because the channel just needs to be supported in order to be worth it, right? Because as much you know, I love doing this. This is what I want to do. I want to be a content creator. It's just like a dream come true for me. Uh, codes are sold out. All right, so codes are sold out, guys. Thank you to everybody who bought them up. That is wild. But uh, thank you guys so much to everybody who's bought stuff from Full Grip. It really means a lot to me and uh, means a lot to me being a valuable employee here as well. Because uh, you can see Jameson and Full Grip hooked me up. I mean, they gave me a brand new studio. They gave me this brand new space uh, when I didn't have one. I mean, you guys know prior to this, I was in my bedroom and was literally, it was filming right next to my bed. So thank you so much, Troy. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it, Troy. Thank you. Thank you. But... It's just been a wild ride, and uh, they've really done a great job, uh, great job supporting me. I am cool with the Darium's crew. I see some questions about that, and I thank you, Riley, for asking. I'm cool with them. Uh, we still get along great, and we still work together in some capacities. Like, I still do PSA stuff through Darium, uh, but Darium just couldn't really afford to support me anymore. So that's just where that is, and it's cool, you know, understandable. It's just he couldn't afford to support this channel anymore, uh, so I had to find ways to support the channel on my own. So that's just kind of what what happened there but me and Darium still a terms still get along great still still love that guy so you know Darium's awesome and channels are awesome their new toy channel awesome they got some great stuff going on there last pack of lost thunder here let's check it out what do we got going on it's a steelix all right cool well that's it we opened a lot of lost thunder just now so now it's time Let's build a deck. So let's build some decks. All right, let's get to the uh, deck manager. Uh, thank you, Jakey boy, appreciate it. We are gonna be creating a new standard deck and our first one is gonna be probably good old Cake Pop. All right, no, do you guys see, you all see what I did, right? I did type in Cake Pop. We need Blacephalon, <laughs> we need Blacephalon. Blacephalon GX on deck, let's get it. All right, for Blacephalon, we also need Probably like two Lele, all right, two Tapu Shmele GX, and then we also are gonna want some peoples. We're gonna put some people in this deck. Let's go people, people. We're gonna put the poiple, the poiple, poiple, poi, poiple? How do you spell, people? I actually just call it people, so I have no idea how to spell this thing. People, poiple, all right. How do you spell poipol, guys? Poipol. Uh, we're gonna look up Naganadel first. <laughs> Naganadel. 
Naganadel. All right, here we go. Naganadel. We got three of those, and then evolves from Poipol. All right, excellent, great. So there we go. Poipol. We need P O I P L E. What? Poi. Oh, Poipol. That's the Poipol. Got it. All right, we're in. We got it. It's Poipol. See? Now there's uh. There's even Edgar in the chat. You're with me. That's how I was spelling it, Edgar, but we are wrong. It is Poipol, not the people. It's Poipol. Uh, German Garcia, you're also spelling it incorrectly. You're spelling it how I was spelling it. It's Peepol. You got to remember, Peepol. All right, here we go. We've got the Peepol in here, not people. It's the Peepol. All right. Yarden, yes, shout out to you for shouting out people who know how to spell Yarden. All right, so. You guys should have seen me. When I was a teacher, you know, students would sometimes ask me how to spell things, and I'd like have to whoop up my phone, like, give me a second here, I'm just gonna consult good old uh, you know, Siri. Thanks. All right, so we've got all these, and I'm pretty sure that's all the Pokemon that go into our deck. Very good. All right, and then we're gonna see how much of this I actually remember. I know we got like a couple ultra space in here, and also ultra balls, so that's very good. We got four ultra balls. We got a heat factory. Uh, we got the heat, the heat man. All right, heat factory. Heat factory. Uh, got that. We also, I think, you know, list has got like three acro bikes in it. That's pretty rad. That's cool. We also got like a couple mysterious treasures. Mysterious. Mysterion. Anybody watches South Park? Mysterion's like one of my favorite characters. One of my faves. All right, what else do we need in here? We don't need any of those Lost Blenders. We need a couple of Beast Rings. Oh yeah, let's get that four Beast Rings. Let's see, you could control click to add four instantly. Thank you for the knowledge there, spitting some knowledge at me. See, there's uh, so much stuff that I don't know. Lily, Lily, which is hilarious. For someone who plays as much PTCGO as I do, uh, I know very little about the program at large. You got everybody always comments that I'm level zero, which is hilarious. Yeah, I've never done any of that. I don't even know how you start to level up. I've uh, I've had this account for years, like five or six years, but it just uh, yeah. Let's see, draw two cards for each fire Pokemon and play. That's never gonna be good in here. No, no. Cynthia, we need Captain Cynthia. All right, we need four of you, Cynthia. Very good. All right, what else goes in this deck, guys? We got like 15 fire energy. Far. 15 fires. Very good. Ooh, we have a secret rare fire. I didn't know that. Very cool. Here we go. Mint Berry Crunch. I love it. Thank you, Alex, for knowing the reference. Uh, we got a... It's like my favorite show ever. Uh, the new season's been like nuts, like completely insane. All right, Beast energy and also saw the movie mid 90s so anybody who saw the movie mid 90s uh that movie was amazing like i i absolutely loved it uh, i thought it was really really cool it was like amazing to see uh the interpretation of like a uh, you know coming of age story from the perspective of a skater you know just growing up skateboarding and stuff and yes riley i do skateboard yes i do riley and i love it Okay, and I also loved the movie mid-90s. It was really, really good. So, uh, if anybody, you know, it is a, it is an adult-themed movie, so I will say, I will preface that. So, that is that. Yes, we also, oh, we do run one Kiawe. Yes, we do. All right, Kiawe, uh, and it's directed by Jonah Hill. So, Jonah Hill, awesome, super, super funny dude, and just a very good actor, and apparently an amazing director as well, so... A couple of Ultra Space. I know we play like two Ultra Space in here. I'm missing like one card. What's the other card that I wanted in here? Ultra Space. Um, am I Andrew Dankus? You are. You are a turd, Andrew Dankus. You're being a turd, man. Are you sponsored by Thrasher? Come on. I wish. All right. We have four Guzma. I think our list had only a couple Guzma in it. Um, but I would like to play four Guzma. Is there anything else that I'm missing in here? Uh, so the Heat Factory, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, Guzma, do I have four Guzma? I only have two Guzmas in here right now. I just posted a list to the, uh, posted a list. I think that there's something that I'm forgetting from that list, but honestly, I could just go with four. I honestly, I wanna play like, would a Zep Strike Up be so bad in here? Like, what if we went, what if we did this? I was thinking about this the other day. What if we went like, ditto, right? There's almost no point in not playing a Ditto. That's like fine. He's got less hit points and he can't, you know, use Eye Opener. But then what if he did like Zeb Strika? 
What if he did that? You guys hate this? Is this bad? Riley, I need your judgment. Is this bad? I think it's fine. Zeb Stryka. I want to play Zeb Stryka. Yes. Ooh. Is this okay? Can I do this? This seems really good. I need Plumeria. I don't think I need Plumeria. I got four B strings. Uh, what about this? What do you guys, you guys like this? Hate it? Let me know. What you, is that like the worst thing you've ever seen? Or is it not the worst thing you've ever seen? I don't really know. It's uh, definitely an option. I've got my four B strings. If I play Ditto, I could play Sableye GX. Um, I got four acro bikes, got my sightseers, got some lilies, got some choice bands. I want another Guzma in here. We definitely need another Guzma. All right, we're doing that. So that's our 60 right now. This is fine. Let's roll. We're in here. We got cake pops. Cake pops. Let's go. And we are going to play. What coin should we use? I know you guys think about your coin usage, right? Your coin like has to match the deck, right? I usually go in with the Chansey coin. Chansey coin is very good. Uh, oh, Rescue Stretcher. Oh, I'm totally missing a Rescue Stretcher. I don't actually think you need Rescue Stretcher in this deck. Uh, it's like, nah, it's fine. It's like probably fine. Let's see. What coin to use, though, for real? We need a, a coin decision. All right, the Magma coin. I actually like that. That's cool. And then we're going to go in with just the fire and then that. Let's go. Cake Pops. Let's get in there. Our Cake Pop deck has been created. Fantastic. Let's hit the ladder. Hmm. Plumeria for Sceptile. I think we're just losing to Sceptile, friends. I think that's just what's happening. How would Plumeria beat Sceptile? You always need a Rescue Stretcher? I don't think you always need a Rescue Stretcher, but you can use a Rescue Stretcher. I'll try it without Rescue Stretcher, and then if I decide I want a Rescue Stretcher, then I will definitely check it out. Zachary, thank you so much for that comment, man. That means a lot. Appreciate it. I've been doing it for about a year. It really, really makes makes my day to hear that people like enjoy watching the channel, that people are into it. That really means a lot to me, so thank you. Thank you. First game ever. You guys are literally seeing it happen right here live, those of you guys that have been. Am I expanded? Oh, no. Let's get out of here. I'm doing it again. Concede. Yes. Abort. Abort. All right. Second game ever. Second game ever with, uh, with Cake Pops. Expanded? No. Standard. Very good. Cake Pops. Let's go. Uh, you guys have seen me do that before. Oh, man. So, I fixed it. We got there. I could use an escape board. That is a possibility. Could get in there with an escape board. I do love skateboards, so I could throw one in there. I don't have any secret rares online, I don't think. I think maybe I have two. I don't know. I think I might have two. I don't have a play set. Uh, but I don't know that you need Rescue Stretcher. If four plus Cephalon get knocked out, then you lose the game. So why do you need more than uh, why do you need more than four? You probably don't. And then the Naganados, I guess your argument would be to to throw more Naganados in the deck. Probably one Rescue Stretcher is good, just because you're going to discard things and you're going to want to get the Naganados back from the discard pile. So uh, I don't. Oh, right. You would need, oh, the Plumeria is you remove the grass energy, then you can uh, knock things out. Thank you, Gamma Fighter. Thank you. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but I appreciate it. All right. I'll draw my card. And we got a Lele here. Okay. All right. I see you. And this is the kind of hand where Sightseer is like actually not bad. You could discard any number of cards from my hand. So I do like that. However, I am like not trying to get rid of these Guzmas here. That seems kind of sketch sketch city here and we don't actually have any way to get a cake pop into the active position either i only have guzma so maybe maybe the skateboards are not a bad idea i actually kind of like that because the people has a retreat cost of one so we could just slap a board on there and you know could uh get in there and retreat that would be awesome Definitely could see that. I don't know what my opponent just did, but it was uh, it was interesting. So we are going to Sightseer here. I think that's just what we do. Discard any number and then draw till we have five in our hand. Probably is the best thing to do here. I could discard literally everything in this hand and just ditch and then just go for a draw of five. That or we shuffle draw six. Eh, either way, it kind of feels bad. Uh, I think I just uh, look at my face down prizes. I think I'm going to do that. And then I think that I want to do my, you know, my GX attack the following turn. So I think I'm just going to ditch everything. Yeah, we're just going to go in. Let's just, yeah, just, just get rid of, just, just get rid of it all. Yeah, let's just, yeah, scoopy whoop. All right, get it all out of here. 
Cool, cake pop, there he is. And we got a Cynthia busted. Uh, and then I'm going to turn one eye opener. Yes, let me look at my prizes. Top left, y'all remember that, top left. It's over there, top left, okay. Top left, top left, top left, okay. And then everything else is pretty much supporters. Bottom left is B-string, those are supporters. Lele, top left, B-string, supporters. All right, there we go. Very cool. All right, I gotta remember that though, because I can't, you know, if I click on my prizes again, it's not gonna let me, it's not gonna let me see. So I had to commit that to memory. So that is an interesting thing. No idea what my opponent is playing, but that's fine. We're about to do this old thing here. And we'll slap the choice band there. And then we're just going to Cynthia, draw six new cards. I uh, love it, cool. Got another cake pop, got an ultra ball. I don't think that I actually need, um, too much going on here. I can Ultra Ball for the Ditto and then Ultra Ball for the Zeb Strika the following turn. I kind of like that. And uh, then I will just continue drawing cards. But I also know that I'm going to get the Fire Energy. I could go get a Supporter instead. I don't actually like need, need, need to accelerate that Fire Energy. So let's Ultra Ball away the Blacephalon and the Fire Energy. Kind of okay with that. I don't think I need like multiple Blacephalon, honestly. I don't feel like my opponent is really even gonna do too much this game, but I could be wrong, could be completely wrong. I don't know. We'll just do that. And then next turn, I wanna get the, I wanna do all the things. I wanna get the Zeb Strike into play. So, cool, there we go. And then let's get our GX action going. Let's do it. All right, uh, Bursting Burn or Burst GX, busted. All right, top left, top left, top left, top left. There it is. We did it, check that out, busted attack. Insane. And then next turn, we can go get ourselves a Naganadal and a Zeb Strike Gun. And then we're just baking the cake. We're doing, we're doing the thing. Oh, baking the cake just makes a ton of sense with Cake Pop. That's a, that's like a nice little play on words we got there. I love that. Tate and Liza, or is it Tate and Liza? I don't know. Tate and Liza, they're gonna shuffle draw five and they're probably looking for some sort of like DCE action going on. They probably also want like, a, um, they probably want like, oh, they're playing a Zorark deck. Uh, Ditto Prism Star can evolve into Zeb Strika, right? That's, I didn't mess that up, right? I don't have a Blitzel in the deck, but I do have Ditto. Ditto evolves into it. So we're getting let loose, yikes. But actually this hand is like better than the other one. So that's totally fine. And then they're gonna go in Flying Flip. That's why I didn't wanna bench that other thing there because it could have been bad and we didn't wanna do that. All right, so we've got to knock this thing out for sure. And I think Naganadel doesn't really do enough damage for what I'm trying to do. So we are going to mind blown this thing for sure. Uh, let's start out with an acro bike, see what we get off the acro bike. We got a B string and an ultra space. I think I like the ultra space better. My opponent's not taking prizes anytime soon. So that's okay. And then I'm just gonna ultra ball away the ultra space and the fire energy, honestly. And I'm gonna go get myself the Zeb Strika. I'm going to bench the Naganadel and the people. And then we're gonna go to town. Let's go. Oh, for the win, awesome, man. I love hearing that. Love hearing when people say they got inspired to play the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, oh, does this not work? Discard your hand and draw four. Do you have to have a hand to do this? Uh, this is new to me. Why can't I draw four cards? Hmm. Anybody want to let me know why I cannot draw four cards? That would be great. Uh, did I did I play myself? Why can I not draw four cards? Uh, do I need to discard something? This is all brand new to me here. So that is, uh, why can't I draw four cards? This is frustrating. Is it because I have to discard something? Can you discard a hand when there's zero cards in it? Like, well, I should just be able to sprint, right? What is this? This has got to be a bug because you could discard if you've got no cards in your hand. You've got to be able to play that, right? Uh, I think this it seems like a glitch. That's that's bad, right? So, all right, you guys are seeing this. This is like really unfortunate because oh, that's just that's just silly. All right, we're gonna mind blown. We're gonna knock this thing out. Sure. I mean, I have to discard all three, but that's just uh, that's just bad. Um, because you can discard, you can stick more with a zero card hand. So it's like you should be able to discard. I actually know where there's a supporter here because I saw that. I think this one's a Cynthia, that's a Lily, something like that. So Lily, it's bugged. 
Sorry guys, really wanted to sprint there, but uh, looks like we are going to have a little bit of a harder time doing that. It's all good, uh, we should be fine. Uh, it says discard your hand, but if you've got zero cards in hand, then you just draw four, that's it. You know, you just, uh, you just discard your hand, draw four, it should just be draw four. Uh, you should not have to, it, it would say if you have no zero, if you have zero cards in your hand, you cannot do this. It would say that um, if the, if the, if it mattered, I think it's just a, I think it's just a bug. And there were always like a lot of bugs there early on in the testing phase for, you know, for the PTCGO stuff. They got a lot of stuff to program and, you know, shout out to the programmers. There's like a ton of stuff going on in these decks and it's all automated. So it makes sense. But I just wanted to make sure that I, I didn't make a flub there. And I don't think I did. I, I think that it just is supposed to work that way and just doesn't. So, uh, right, the Swampert and the Super Boost, it's the same thing happened last uh, last set. I got the Swampert out. I was really excited. I put the Super Boost energy on the Swampert. Nothing. <laughs> it was just so, so salty, right? So the uh, sprint does not work. And I imagine that it, it probably is not working because I just need to have one card in my hand right now in order. You must learn to walk before you could sprint, sir. You're right. You got me there. Uh, let's see, my opponent's got lots of Marsh Shadows out. They got that Zorak in the active position. That's a little bit scary. I'm wishing that I had a Rescue Stretcher in my deck right now, but we're going to be totally fine. Yep, totally okay. Still have no idea what in the world my opponent's doing over there on their side of the field, but it's all good. Uh, it's cool. No questions asked. Uh, now, oh, now I can sprint, huh? Now, I, now I'm okay to sprint, but before I was not. We can Bursting Burn. That's a pretty good attack. Honestly, I'm like fine with that. All right, I think we're going to Bursting Burn. And honestly, I think I want... Because uh, they're going to knock that thing out, and then I'm probably going to Beast Ring. So we're going to get just another one of these things. That's fine. And then we will attach here. And then I think I can just Acro Bike. Sure. Let's check out what we got on the Acro Bike. Busted. And we've got two Naginate L now, and then I'm good just to use Cynthia... And drew all some more stuff. Yep, I am, there's no way I'm getting all these energy into play this turn because I didn't draw anything last turn. So we got the Ultra Space, that's still good. And then I probably want to get a third Naginadal into play. That's probably good. He's got a retreat of one. I really wish the Zip Strike I had free retreat cost, but it doesn't. I think the Heat Factory is actually like less needed now that I have the Zeb Strike in play. So I am totally A-OK -okay just going for the people there. We'll just get the people down. Throw that onto the bench as well so that I can just have a huge turn next turn, just sprint and just get tons of stuff going. Uh, Beast Ring, assuming my opponent actually takes the knockout here, but maybe they don't. And then we'll charge up, charge up, get a couple of these going here. Uh, and then uh, sit on this hand because this hand is very good. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that bursting burn there. And what are they, burn and confused? That is honestly like really good, right? I mean, this is crazy. I'm going to have to actually learn what burn does here. They flipped ahead, so they automatically took 20 for burn, and now they're no longer burned, but they're still confused. Burn's one of those abilities or one of those. Uh, you know, status conditions that I just never really ended up ever using. This might be the first deck that I ever play that has like a serious, you know, is seriously pretty good and also burns. It might be one of the first, you know, kind of interactions that I have with burning. So that is uh, good to know. But let's see, my opponent's got Heat Rotom in play. It can Heat Blast for 80 damage. Looks like they're playing Zorark Rotom. And they've got Guzma, so who are they going to bring up? They got Naginadel into the active position. And then I guess they can like instruct and draw cards and all of that. I am honestly fine if they knock out the Naginadel. I can knock out this Zorark GX, go down to two prizes, and then I can just nuke their final Zorark GX for game as well. With, you know, between Beast Ring, the Beast Energy, Naginadels, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get all the energy I need. I'm pretty sure. Jacob, is it not a glitch? Uh, I don't know. Jason's saying it. Jacob's saying it's not glitch. Most people are saying it is glitch, though. I'm pretty sure he's glitch. You should be able to do that with a zero card hand. If you can't do it with a zero card hand, the card is just not very good. And I think that the card is good. I, you know, it's just uh, 
I think that it is glitched. It's just that's just my uh, just my onion, man. It's just my opinion, dog. All right, so they are playing around my B-string turn, so that's kind of annoying. So I have to promote this one, and I can't play B-string yet, which is frustrating because I don't want to discard that. But that's fine, honestly. I could do, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can, I can take the knockout. That's, like, totally fine. Let's just do that. And then let's do charge up, charge up, turn up. Here we go. And then I can just ship everything, I guess. Like, I'm just assuming my opponent's eventually going to knock this thing out. They have to, like, knock this thing out eventually, right? Uh, so that then I could, you know, I could be string. So I don't know. That's just my thought. I don't actually want to ditch all these cards in my hand yet, so I'm not going to. Ooh, I can. Oh, busted. I totally missed that. That's awesome. Uh, the Beast Energy, discard three. I ain't going in with that. I'm saving the Beast Energy. I don't know. I just like the Beast Energy in deck. So we'll charge up again. Turn up. And then we get to Choice Ban. And we'll discard for sure. And I'm going to save those two cards in my hand, so I'm not going to sprint. We're going to Mind Blown and discard four energies. Take that knockout. Let's do four. Uh, choose the fires. Okay, I guess I'll choose that one, that one, that one, and that one. Done. Sweet. So that is good. 230 damage. Cake Pop getting in there. Let's see. I know what these cards are. So I know I've got a, like a Lele, I think, is like, a, I don't know, it was Cynthia Lily, something like that. B string. Oh, sweet. Yes, we did it. That was a B string. I was good. I thought it, I forgot what was down there. I, I need to start like, if you uh, if you were to play this deck in a tournament, I feel like you'd have to like write it down or something so that you you knew what your prizes were. That or you just would have to have a good memory. I don't know. It's kind of tough to remember. Well, especially since I'm talking the whole time. I think if I was just sitting down and just playing the game, I'd probably have an easier time remembering what prizes were where. But definitely that. That poipal did show that that is the correct poipal, though, and I was a little skeptical of that at first. Sick! We got there. My opponent decided to concede, so got there with Cake Pop. Zeb Strika is busted. It's, like, broken. That's sad. I think I'm going to keep him in the deck, though, because he's fun, but he is not working right now, so that is unfortunate. Hopefully somebody at Pokemon sees it, or if you guys want to support a little... You know, put a little support ticket in there, and hopefully that gets fixed sooner rather than later. That would be pretty dope. All right, going to cake pop one more time out here. And then we are going to build a new deck. All right, last game with cake pop, so then we're going to build a new deck so that we can get some new stuff going on here from Lost Thunder. We got one Blacephalon GX in the active position. My opponent's going first. That's fine because then I... Oh, they're playing a metal deck. Sick. We are in, in, in. Um, Snowin, yes, I think that this is the correct one. Looking at your prizes is really good because you don't need to shuffle them. Because And then also for that GX attack, burst GX, you get to accelerate. It's all very, very good. This is exactly what Blacephalon wants. You don't always get to start Blacephalon. Sometimes you're going to start Poiple. And having a usable, good attack on that Poiple that actually like matters, I think, is really big. So... I really like the Zeb Strika. I think I'm probably going to continue playing Zeb Strika in here, especially since having the energy in the discard butt just like makes a lot of sense. I think that, you know, the ability to just sprint allows you to churn through your deck, and I really love that. Uh, I love just having the extra dig, that option to go find yourself a Guzma to win the game or something like that. I think, yeah, Heat Factory and Zeb Strika can both live in the same deck. They're not... They're not mutually exclusive for sure. Like here, we could just uh, we'll acro bike first, see what we get. Another one, sweet. And then I think ideally we acro bike into like a people. God, I'm good. All right, we got a people, and then we're gonna ultra ball for. I guess we can ultra ball for the ditto, or I can get like a uh, yeah. We were just gonna go lele, and we're gonna lele for like a. Uh, you know, for a lily or something and just draw some more cards. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to do that. I could, you know, have gone and gotten the, uh, gotten like the Ditto Prism Star, but it's just better to just draw more cards, see more cards here. And we can see why I'm like opting to play 
more lilies over just an insane amount of sightseers because in situations like this, lilies just like explicitly better, right? So heat factory, and you guys are seeing this is, you know, heat factory is really good too, right? Because uh, that just created a insane turn one, right? Like I just got a ton of cards turn one there. Still no ditto though, but that's okay. All right, we are going to uh, burst GX. Okay, so I would like to take that one there. We'll uh, see what that card has. People, honestly, sweet. So it is a little sad that you do have to discard the card if it's not uh, a fire energy, but that's fine. <laughs> and yes, uh, I agree with you, Riley. Yes, I agree. They do acknowledge that. It is just a glitch. Uh, that was, I've been playing the game for six years. There's no way that like my reading of that card is wrong. I, I just like the way that... All of their other cards have worked up until this point. Yeah, it's just have to have to be a bug. Cool. So we got the turn one attack. My opponent probably going to end up going for, you know, if they have it, they're going to end up going for the algorithm here, which is a little bit scary considering that uh, I guess if I get, you know, if I get some things going on, I can ultra space, get myself another one of these guys, the Naganadel, right? And then we're like good to go because I can Heat Factory, draw some more cards too. The Heat Factory is just like so good. Honestly, such a good card as a one of. You definitely have to. This man, never been wrong. No, I have been wrong, Owen. But I know that like my reading of the card is not wrong though because that's just the way things go. Like for sure. You could discard. You could definitely just discard that. Um, yeah, this Metagross I think is about to get punished. What do you guys think? I think it's about to just like really, really bite the bullet here. I don't think that this uh, this is just going to be a sad day for all Metagrosses everywhere. Cake Pop's about to eat this thing alive. Maple Dragon, I do have a, I do have a Discord. It's a Patreon Discord. Uh, so all my Patreon subs are in the Discord chat. Uh, I check it every day. It's a lot of fun. We got Natalie, Andrew Dankus, Riley all in there helping to moderate as well. I uh, love the Discord chat. It's been a great addition to the Patreon thing and just uh, a lot of fun. So we will ditch that, draw three more cards. Busted, honestly broken, filthy, busted, broken. All right, let's go. We are going to Ultra Space here, get ourselves a Naganadel into play, and it can charge up. Let's go, Naganadel. Charge up. You do your thing, Naganadel. We're going to charge up, get a fire energy from the discard pile. Oh, thank you, Frazier. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um... And then, uh, yeah, I think we just go in and uh, we could like sack three energy, which is like a little bit suboptimal because I don't want to discard both of them from the active, but I'm gonna though. Can I attach the, does that work? The, the choice band could do, oh yes, it does the, this energy. And then we just sack two. Yes. Mind blown. Uh, we are just going to do that one there and that one there. And then we should uh, be knocking this guy out. Get out of here. 260 damage with weakness busted. And then we are just going to just be punishing from here on out. We are going to be totally wiping this thing clear. I don't think that they stand any chance. Uh, what's up, Tommy Miller? Appreciate it. Do I think Lapras GX stays good? That is going to be determined. Honestly, I think Lapras is weak to grass, right? And grass is just a very, very good archetype here uh, in in standard format now. I mean, grass is a, is a thing. With Sceptile, you could be completely immune to the only fire deck, right? And then you have Alolan Executor, which just got that new Shuckle, which is completely insane as well. So I think it is, uh, you know, I think that, uh, yes, it, water decks do well against Blacephalon, but I think that uh, just being weak to grass is a bad thing to be weakness to right now. Uh, I do think that the, let's see, no weakness Sogalio. Yeah, no weakness Sogalio is going to be pretty substantial, I think, in this format. It's just such a good card, and there are lots of decks that now have weaknesses. Metal now has, like, a serious weakness it needs to worry about, so that's definitely a thing. See, we've got Guzma. Oh, my opponent is uh, definitely finna be salty here. We have got just everything we need to take a huge knockout, so that's great. Let's go in, and I am going to evolve this Naganadel for sure. Then we are going to Guzma up this thing. What does Frying Pan do? Uh, takes 30 less damage from attacks and has no weakness. Sad. 
All right, we're just going to have to blow up a Lele instead then while we try to get even more stuff going on. Let's Ultra Space. Uh, ooh, yes, I don't actually have... I don't actually have it, so we'll just get a Blacephalon, and we'll just put that into my hand, right? Goes into my hand, good. And then there's no real reason, unless they actually take a knockout, they're gonna have to take a knockout eventually, right? Let's just go in and attach here. Let's charge up, charge up, uh, cool. Oh, I guess I can, um, hmm, I was thinking, I was kinda thinking myself into a box there. I can, get the Ditto Prism Star. So let's just Ultra Ball and get the Ditto Prism Star instead. I think we're ditching Zeb Strika this game. We just don't need it. So we're gonna get rid of Zeb Strika and the Bless Ephelon. We are not gonna need that other Bless Ephelon either. So we're gonna go Ditto Prism Star. And this is the awesome thing about Ditto Prism Star is that it's just gonna act as our third, our fourth, you know, people or whatever, so that we can get all these peoples into play. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanna get as many peoples as I can into play so that I have the highest uh, opportunity to um, to knock out this, you know, behemoth of a Metagross that I'm eventually gonna have to go through here. So we're gonna knock out this Lele. We only have to discard three fire energies. That's awesome. So let's uh, mind blown. Let's do it, get it. We're gonna do one, a two, a three, knockout, busted. Get out of here, Tapu Lele GX, 180 damage, perfect, uh, perfect, perfect, so sweet. Now all we need to do, and we can see, you know, I am not gonna play Sightseer with this hand, I just definitely not. Heat Factory creates some pretty big hands, and just discard a fire, draw three cards, you're gonna have like some pretty sizable hand sizes. I don't know that Sightseer is needed in this deck at all, I might just feel better playing a more, you know, shuffle-friendly supporter or something like that. We are about to get judged, which is tough, but we only have one prize remaining, so we can just knock out anything my opponent promotes. Uh, all I needed is the fire energy there to get that going, so that is awesome. The ditto is really fantastic. It goes good in so many decks, just so much. Is my opponent just going to fly and flip again? Yup. And do we have knockout? Yup, so we're good to go. 2-0 with cake pops here. Uh, just thrashed a metal deck. Horrible matchup for my opponent. So, I mean, there's really nothing they could have done about it. Just really, really bad beats there. And we were gonna be able to use the Ditto Prism Star to get even more fire energy into play. And then not to mention just the B strings. If my opponent ever took a knockout, we could see this deck just does extremely good uh, against literally anything that's not prepared for it. Like if you're not prepared to just take uh, big GX knockouts or if you're not prepared to trade favorably with like non-GXs or something like that, this deck just thrashes GX heavy decks. It really does because it's just so quick, so consistent. Uh, you don't really need any setup. You don't need to set up a stage two, none of that. You just draw tons of cards. You have the hand advantage almost the whole game and you're good to go from there. Um, let's see, what's next? Let's build a Lost March. Apparently Lost March is bugged though. I heard some guys say Lost March is bugged out. So tell me about Lost March. Is Lost March bugged or does it work? I wanna know because I'm trying to build it. That is something that I would like to do. Oh, Preston, did Beast Energy not apply on that damage? Thank you, I didn't know that. So learning new things here every day. We're gonna go create a new deck. Standard, please. Sweet. Uh, and let's see what we got going on here. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Thank you, Helon. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Third donation tonight. You rock. And I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, Chichester, thank you so much. Appreciate the donation. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to everybody who's donated tonight. You guys absolutely rock. Absolutely amazing. Let's see. Skip Loom. Skip Loom. Skip. Skip. Skip Loom. Busted. Four skip looms. Let's go. Uh, oh, it does affect. Thank you, Riley. Appreciate it. All right. Four skip loom. And then also we are in need of hop ips. And there's, uh, I think, you know, there's the 30 hit point hop ip. Search your deck for a hop ip. Uh, it's not worth it. And you just go with this hop ip, honestly. The 40 hit points matters. I mean, you don't want to get knocked out by snipe decks. Tromboni, Trumbeak. We're gonna add four Trombonis here with Mountain Pass. Oh, apparently the Trumbeak is, is uh, you guys said that that thing's bugged too. So that's a little bit frustrating. Let's see, we've got that. We've also got, uh, I don't know, Blitzel. I know we're playing Blit, Blitzel, Blitzel, Litzel. All right, Blitzel. 
And then also a Zeb Stryka. All right. A broken Zeb Stryka. And I don't mean broken isn't good. I mean literally broken. That is unfortunate. Oh, thank you, yo. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for showing up. Thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. Natu. We got four Natus. Four Natus. And then what? Just like one Lele. We play like one copy of Tapu Shmele. Tapu Shmele GX. Let's get her in there. Very cool. And then probably like one Alolan Vulpix as well. Let's do that. Vulpix. And the Vulpix is cool in here. It's not totally needed, but it is cool. It's nice. Don't mind it. Uh, yes, Jorge. I do love, I love that, uh, I just love the Cake Pop deck. I mean, there's so many good fire Pokemon. Turtonator is so good, honestly. I'm not sure that you need the Turtonator in the deck, but it is just a really good card altogether. Where is my Blender? Um, a blend, blender. What? Secret Rare Blender. Busted. All right, let's throw some other Blenders in here. Some Blendinis. Great Ball. I'm going to play like four Great Ball. Sweet. Busted Search Card. A couple of Net Balls as well. I'm going to do like three Net Balls. Net Ball. Three Net Balls. I don't know, like uh, a bunch of Ultra Balls probably. Yeah, we're going to throw some Ultra Balls in the deck. Yeah, Natalie, I'm going to play at least until Lost March gets to get shown off here. So we're going to play probably, I don't know, we could do another hour. Feeling it. We could do another hour or so. Yeah, I'm just getting just getting warmed up. We're just getting rolling here with the stream. So I don't know. I probably want to play at least you know a few games with Lost March. Maybe one more deck if we're, if we're feeling it, Mr. Krabs. All right. Ultra Ball, Net Ball, Great Ball. Got all the balls. Cynthia. We're going to play like four copies of Cynthia. And uh, we're also going to play uh, some Guzmas. And I think we need like more Guzma. I think, you know, we're in between like two and three Guzma, honestly. Lily is very good in here as well. I want at least two, probably three Lily. And then we also want to play uh, what we got that. We got that. Do we play any stadiums? What else do I put in here? We got uh, like three copies of grass energy. That's cool. And yeah, do I have any cool grass energy? Ooh, I got some hollow grass energy. That's nice. One, two, three. All right. Very good. And then like four DC doubles. Double colorless. There we go. Four doubles. Excellent. And then where we go? Where are we at? We got 55 cards in the deck. All right. Uh, Elm, thank you guys. I knew it. Yep, knew it. You all are on top of it. This is why I need you guys. I need you guys here. Couldn't do it without you. Natalie's on two Elm right now. So I think uh, it's right there on the table. Is it literally right here on the table? Oh, is it written right here? It's not written right here. This is something else. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Except how it might be over there, Natalie. It might be all the way over there. I don't see the decks. Ugh. What else goes in here? Four grass, three DC, Professor Elm, stretcher. Yes, we do play two stretcher. Very good. See, they can get me there. Uh, stretcher. Probably like two copies of stretcher is good. Uh, and then, oh, choice band. Oh, one copy of stretcher, two copies of choice band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Choice band. Excellent. Cool. Probably like. Yeah, we do like one copy of Choice Band. We do two copies of Stretcher. I think like the this is the same list that Natalie had, except we had two copies of Choice Band and only two Guzma. I don't really love two Guzma. Uh, I think I like three Guzma at least, and honestly, I think I want four. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. And with all the you know kind of gas that we have with a Lost Blender, I think that we should be totally fine. Two Rescue Stretcher feels good. We should be totally fine getting our damage ramped up, so that, that feels okay. Sure, let's just go in with that. Lost March! All right, you, did I get the energy backwards? Uh, I don't think I got the energy backwards. I did four and three, right? That was intended. Yep, that's intended. All right, yeah, we're going to do that. Lost March. Let's get in there, everybody. Let's get in there with our Lost March deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right. What's what color is our gla grass march? Oh, grass march. Lost march. Grass. Excellent. Very cool. All right. Let's get there. Let's get in there, friends. Let's get in there, family. Let's get it done. All right. Am I lying? Am I lying? 
Did I get the energy backwards? Did Natalie say I got... Am I multiple cards off? I'm not multiple. I do know what I'm doing, Ben. All right, y'all watch. I'm going to win. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Y'all y'all out here telling me I don't know how to build a Lost March deck. Let's get in here. We're actually not going to play Ditto in the deck because it doesn't count towards Lost March output when it goes to Lost Zone. So that's the uh, that's the deal. I have four jump bluffs. Yes, I only I have four jump bluffs, but jump bluffs main issue is to help get skip looms into the into the loss zone. That's that's what jump bluff is there for. We have netball. All right. Hello there. Hello. Hello, opponent. Hello. I hope you're having a good day. You have a great deck. And also, hello. All right, I'm done. Let's go on. Let's see what we can get in our next hand. Oh, perfect starter. Thank you, Tapu Lele, for showing up at the worst time. Literally the last place that I want you right now. All right. Fantastic. That's fine. This is fine, though. You all know it's totally fine, totally appropriate. We're good to go here. No worries. All right, we got an NK in the active position. That is going to be A-OK. -okay. We're playing against some sort of Shmalimar deck. Uh, hopefully we're not playing against, uh, I don't know, the Giratina, the Giratina Cofagrigus deck. Does that play Does that play Malamar or no? Because if it does play, I don't know actually what that deck ends up looking like. But I think that that deck is a deck that is probably scary for my Lost Marchers, if I had to guess. They don't have a lot of hit points, so that would be rough. Nice, Gengar. I'm glad you got your show, your codes from Sean. I told Sean, I told you guys that he would email you them, and I'm sure Sean is listening. And that's busted, so I'm glad you got them. So great stuff. Uh, apparently, they're they're sold out now, though. So that's uh, sweet that you got some before they sold out. Thank you guys again to everybody who's bought stuff from FullGripGames.com. Y'all rock. And y'all are helping me keep my job. So rock on. Great. Busted deck. You're right, Jason. Broken, filthy deck. What does so? What's the deal with that Cafagrius deck? Does that how do you actually get the two energy that they need on the Cafagrius? Anybody got any insights into that? How do you actually get all that energy into play? I don't. I don't know. It's uh, you know, I don't know. Do they use Malamar or do they use like counter gain or do they use counter energy? Uh, I don't know. I just these are things. The list of things I don't know. I'm just out here asking questions. That's all. Got a nest ball. All right, so they're going to go get themselves probably some sort of attacker or something with that nest ball. I have no idea. And we've got a juicy looking hand here. Loving it. Oh, thank God. Natalie's bringing dinner. Busted. Deoxys. That's fine. We could trade with those. I have no fear. Now, the only fear that I have is that we started with the Tapu Lele and we didn't want to. So that's kind of sad. But otherwise, you know, no fear. Alrighty then, uh, let's just start off with a Great Ball first. That's the correct play because we have the most amount of Pokemon in our deck. I think that we want to go get a Blitzel. I know that I'm not attacking on the first turn of the game, honestly. So let's see. I think the Blitzel seems fine. And then we can get a Natu, something like that. Sure. Uh, we can Netball, go get ourselves a Skip Loom like that. Sure. All right, Netball. Get a, not a Skip Loom, a Hop Ip. All right. And then let's take a look. We guys have Strika in deck, busted. Tromboni in deck, sweet. And we can get Alolan Vulpix, so that is something to think about as well. However, putting the Alolan Vulpix into the active position means that I'm gonna have to like retreat twice. And as you guys can see, this deck does not ever want to really have to retreat. Uh, I only have two Guzma in deck, so that's like a little bit frustrating. And I gotta get this dude out of the active position somehow. So let's... Uh, I could Lost Blunder away the Skip Loom. That doesn't really make any sense, though. I don't think that that's really required. I could Ultra Ball away Lost Blunder and Skip Loom and get something else into play. That's probably fine just to kind of, you know, turn and, and get some other things going. That way we can get ourselves a Natu. I kind of like that. Let's just get the Natu. Let's slap the DC on the Natu. So that way we're kind of like not wasting our energy attachment. And that way if we draw into either a Grass or a, you know something we you know theoretically we were going to be fine okay but well, this is what we got so apparently we ain't going nowhere fast we've got professor elms lecture but unfortunately professor elms lecture does not get us uh the zeb Strika, and that's who we want we may decide that uh after some testing we end up wanting to play a special charge in here that's entirely possible not exactly sure but it is a possibility it is a possibility 
I think at this point, what, we've got no Lost Marchers in the discard pile, or no Lost Marchers, no Pokemon in the Lost Zone. That's right, we don't need Lost Marchers in the Lost Zone. We just need Pokemon in the Lost Zone. It doesn't matter if they have, uh, it doesn't matter if they have Lost March or not. Natalie's mobile. She's going to be on her way here. Yes, with Chinese food. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Wouldn't using a Natu tech be a decent way to counter Lost March? I think good ways to counter Lost March are like Spell Tag. You could use Spell Tag, and that's like really frustrating because your opponent like knocks out, you know, thing, and then Special Charge rotated. <gasps> You're right. That is a uh, that is expanded format. I'm thinking about. Y'all are right. Uh, that is a uh, that is a thing. Right. Special Charge is not standard format anymore. Duh. So, sorry guys, I just <sighs> was thinking about expanded format there real quick, so. Uh, my bad, yeah, so there is no way to get your DCEs back. You just have to play more energy, right? Thank you, Christian's Competitive Pokemon. Yes, I made a little bit of a blunder there. Uh, we've got ourselves a Netball, which is sweet. Uh, I can also Lost Blender some things. Uh, this is actually awesome, because I can Professor Elm's Lecture, and then I can Lost Blender those things away. So that is super dope. Let's, uh, Hmm, let's do it this way. I have one of these here, so we know that. And then I can ship them Floral Path to the Sky. Let's do that. So then we're gonna go get ourselves a Jump Bluff. And then what do I have left in deck? I have two Skip Blooms left in deck? All right, cool. So that's fine. We're gonna go get ourselves a Jump Bluff and throw those guys into L Lost Zone. Very good. And then I can Netball, I guess. Uh, I can also Professor Elm's Lecture. Let's Professor Elm's Lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to do all of it. Let's Professor Elm's Lecture. We're going to go get ourselves Skip Loom, yeah, that guy, and also that guy. That seems fine. Sure. Uh, I think I like that. And we can Skip Loom, you know, throw some things into the Lost Zone. That's okay. Yep. Good to go. And then I can do this again. Very good. And let's uh, do our fly away into the sky with our floral path. Very good. Get a jump left. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry, Jorge. Oh, sorry about that. I appreciate the thoughts, the thought that counts. Thank you, Jorge, for all of your thoughts. Uh, I will netball next. Netball probably seems like the best move here. Let's see, we're doing, what, 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon in the Lost Zone? All right, uh, except Prism Star Pokemon, so we're doing two, four, six, eight. I need 10, 12, that's cool, I got that. Uh, if I just Lost Blender these two guys away, I can do that. That would be pretty much fine, I think. Uh, unless I want to Lost Blunder anything else away. I think that's probably the best bet, though. We're just going to Lost Blunder those guys away. Get out of here. Go. All right, we get to draw a card. Excellent. And then I will Netball. So I can actually Guzma this turn. That's kind of interesting. I could Guzma the Malamar um, and just attack that way. That's like something I can do. That way I don't waste an energy. I kind of like that. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's get ourselves a Grass. Sure. And at this point, like, we're kind of cruising. Like, we're kind of doing all right. Oh, I have played a supporter. Okay, that's that's fine. Then I guess we just retreat. And I'm just going to retreat the DC. It's sad, but I do have exactly six energy, um, right? So I do have exactly six energy remaining. So if my opponent does plan on playing this kind of non-GX game with me, Rescue Stretcher is a good card for us to have, definitely. I see that, Riley. Yes, I am aware. I played the Elm. I'm on top of it. Guzma is a card I can play next turn. So we are going to, we're on top of it. Great. Andrew, did you see the Magikarp Waylord Tag Team GX? No, I did not, but that sounds hilarious. So definitely would like to check that out eventually. What's up, Alolan Knife? Thank you for showing up here. Thank you guys, everybody showing up in the stream today. Awesome, appreciate it. Oh no, not a Chimeco. It's gonna bell a silence. That's no good, but honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point. I have all the Pokemon in play that I really need. Uh, my opponent is going to have to take a knockout. It looks like they're trying to do that with Malamar, and that's fine. I'm cool trading with my opponent's Malamars, but that's the way they wanna do this. That's how they wanna get down, and they can get down that way all they'd like. That's totally fine. Next turn, I'm just gonna Rescue Stretcher for my Nat 2 back, slap that thing on the bench. No, donations should not be turned off. So uh, people have been doing super chats and stuff. So appreciate it, you know, and thank you to everybody who's trying to donate. I really, really appreciate it. Really, uh, really, really helps with everything. Trust me with the uh, uh, with the transition, you know, between jobs and everything like that. And just with supplies for the studio. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. It's been really helpful. So we've got ourselves a Malamar here, going to be attacking my Natu Psychic Sphere. 
cool. And then add two bites to dust. That's fine. I'm worried about this Lele that's on my bench. We really, really wished that we didn't start that. That's kind of like a... Um, Kind of a real bummer, but it's all good. Oh, Tromboni, let's get in there, Tromboni. Do it. Do your thing, Mr. Trombone. Yes, I would like to play the trombone. How do I do it? Uh, mountain Pass. If this Pokemon's in your hand, you may reveal it. I would like to Mountain Pass, please. Hello. Can I not do this? Is it? All right, guys. Is this, is this it? Can I not Tromboni? Is this the deal? Oh, my gosh. Is it, is it just like broken completely so i'm playing like four dead pokemon in my deck right now is that what's going on that is just so sad okay that's fine we'll deal with it uh i will uh i guess i will deal that's unfortunate man i gotta fix my tromboni why can't i trombone does anybody else know how to do this play it to your bench i can't play it to my bench oh i guess i can uh yes i would like to put that into the lost zone okay excellent uh, I don't know why it made it play it to my bench. You're not allowed to play it to a bench, I guess, because it's a stage one Pokemon, but I guess that's fine. In order to activate the attack, it wanted me to play it to the bench. So the Tromboni is totally fine. I just didn't know how to put it, I didn't know how to put it into play. Um, yes, thank you all for everybody who is telling me how to play the Tromboni. Appreciate it. Uh, but yes, I do see now that the area around the bench was getting highlighted, so very good. You have to bench it though, but that's not fair though. Let's see, if this Pokemon you're here, reveal it if you do, look at the top card. Uh, because what if your bench is full, right? What if, like, what if your bench is full though? Is you telling me that I wouldn't be able to play the Tromboni if the bench was full? I don't know, that's just, it's confusing to me. I feel like I should put it into play, not into the bench, but that's, it's fine. Oh, uh, do trainer cards? You don't have to play trainer cards to the bench, can't, don't you just like kind of toss them out to wherever? That's interesting, right. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense. I think it is because it's the Pokemon, right? So all Pokemon want to be played to the bench, I guess, right? And that's kind of just the way that the game is, like, programmed it for now. Uh, but it should play like a trainer, right? Because I should be able to play this card even when I have no, be no bench space. But I have a feeling that it's going to, uh, it's going to, you know, uh, that, that's a glitch, right? Yeah, that's what Riley's saying. It sounds like a glitch, so... That is tough, but it's all good. We can, uh, yeah, we can figure it out. Let's see. Yeah, if your bench is full, you can't play it. Yeah, that's a that's a glitch. It's cool. We found two glitches so far. Two. Two of them. Uh, my Zeb Strike is broken, and also my, uh, my Trombonis are <laughs> broken. Sad. That's all good, though. I did get Jump Luff the hero. Yes, I did. My Jump Luffs are out here right now, so... Excited about him. I pulled one. You could tell which one I pulled. He's ugly. This is a reverse hollow one, but it's all good. I really, oh, starting the Lele is so bad. I feel like this deck might evolve to a place where you just don't want any Lele's in play at all. You don't want any Lele's. You don't even want to play a Lele. Uh, you might just play like a thipper, a thicker Zeb Strike line, or you might play like, uh, I don't know, like an Orangaroo or something instead. I just feel like the... Oh, the Lele is just so bad and loses you so many games because decks like Malamar, you know, decks could just trade with your, you know, your jump luffs, never put down a Lele themselves and then just take out your Lele and knock it out. Gamma Fighter, easy question. Sneasel's my favorite. Uh, Sneasel is my favorite. Shiny Pokemon, easily. It's not even close. Sneasel looks incredible shiny. Have you ever seen it? It's pink and yellow. It's great. Love it. Uh, love it, love it, love it. So... Let's see here. Let's see. Hmm. My opponent has got their Dawn Wings. So if they go in for the GX here, that's going to be sad. I have a feeling that that's what they're going to do, though. Fortunately, I have a Guzma in my hand. So that is not a problem. The problem is that we need to draw out of this bleh, hand that we got going on here. That's no good. So this thing is going to come active. And then that's great, actually, because it gives me an opportunity to knock out a GX Pokemon, which is what I needed. I definitely needed that option if I was going to end up winning this game. So I will Guzma and knock out the Malamar. I'm like, cool. Let's see, I got two, five, six, seven. I have seven. So I don't have quite enough Pokemon in my loss zone yet to knock out a GX Pokemon, but we're getting there. All right, let's, yeah, we're gonna Guzma up that guy. Yes, please. And Natu uh, is going to be, yes. And then we'll Tromboni, excellent, all right. They got a rescue stretcher on the top. Okay, that's fine. 
And then I think that I have to bench this Natu, as sad as that is. I don't want to because uh, I just don't, right? Does the, oh no, jump off Scott Free Retreat. I don't need to, don't need to bench him, sweet. Let's get in there with that Lost March. Sick. So we're doing like a decent amount of damage right now, 160 with that Tromboni there and the discard pile. And what do you know, we just keep chugging along here. We got a DCE, but I desperately just need a little bit more draw here to knock this thing out. I need something, I need some juice, I need something off the top deck. We are just stuck, we're so stuck. All those great balls, all those ultra balls in my deck, nothing, you're telling me nothing. I need to keep the Natu right in case I top deck ultra ball. That is why we need to keep the Natu. So that's tough, but it's fine, I guess. We really can't afford to hit into this thing um, for less than a knockout, unfortunately though. So that, we just need, some, we desperately need something off the top at this point. It's just been a long, grindy draw here without supporter cards. We just played the one Cynthia, and that's all we've played this game. No lilies, no nothing. So I think that, I know, Wimpo Squirrel, I know. Where is my Oranguru? We probably should throw Oranguru in here. I guess the, you know, the Zeb Strikeout might just be a little bit too much to set up, so... A little bit unfortunate, but it's all good. Uh, we were just testing it. That's just what I'm doing. Look how cute this Blitzel is, honestly. Very, very cute Blitzel. Love it. Very cool looking. He's got a nice, very handsome looking horn. And he's like in a very nice field. He's very cool. Excellent. Oh, Riley, are you testing? Excellent. Oh, Riley, are you going to Brazil? That's right. You are going to Brazil, aren't you? When is when is Brazil and when are you going? Oh, my opponent seems to have benched a Marshadow. Why did he do that? Interesting. So that's a, that's another Pokemon that we can knock out. So that's really good. We definitely are going to want to do that. Um, Riley's also going to Roanoke. I'm not going to Roanoke, unfortunately. So that's uh, We are going to be doing Thanksgiving with the family. So excited about that. Love it. Uh, my opponent is going to knock me out with Dark Flash. And we're going to hope we top deck, like, honestly, just top deck. Great Ball into Zeb Strika would be ideal. That's exactly what I want. I'll take it. However, this is sad because we already know that it's broken, right? Oh, no. Oh. So, like, in reality, I should be able to bench the Natu, attach the DC, and then sprint. But for those of you guys that haven't been watching, this is bugged. So it doesn't work that way. I, I have to discard a card in order for it to work. So the correct play, then, is to... Bench, oh gosh, this is horrible. Oh gosh, I have to bench the Natu and discard the DCE. Oh, that's my last DCE though. That's horrible. Okay, that is horrible. I need a grass energy. That's fine, I can win. We just have to discard the entire hand. There's no point in benching the Natu. So we're just gonna go, uh, we're gonna go in. They got three prizes remaining. We need a grass energy. Let's sprint, come on, let's go. We need a supporter, grass energy. We got a grass energy, great. Oh, I literally got everything I needed. That's busted, all right, here we go. Lost Blender, and uh, we got a net ball. Okay, I'll take it, uh, cool. And then let's go get Hop Hip. Oh my gosh, this has been insane. This is exactly what we needed, oh my gosh. Oh, is my last grass energy prized? Oh my gosh, I might run out of energy here. That is horrible. All right, so we got the knockout, but uh, my grass energy's prized. So I might rip it here, which would just be insane. 200 damage, lost march, get in there. All right, so I need the grass energy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Yes, <laughs> this is everything we needed. Oh, we are gonna be able to win. I'm gonna win. We got it. Oh, yeah. Gosh, we just had to believe. We had to believe in the jump man. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Uh, I think I want a fourth grass energy in here. This, uh, this feels very scary. It's sketchy, just like super sketch. <laughs> super, super sketch, right? Like that is doing way too much. Like I was really on the, uh, you know, I was close there. Now, granted, that would have been a way easier play to make if Zeb Strika wasn't uh, glitched there. If that Zeb Strika was working the way it was supposed to work, I had the Nat 2 DCE just would have like dropped them. Natalie is in the house. What's up, Natalie? Bringing me dinner. Bringing Thank you. Oh, me. bringing me dinner too, <laughs> Natalie. Natalie rocks. Thank you, Natalie. Appreciate it. How's it going? Well, we got in here. We're at Lost March, and we just made 
Sick play, except uh, would have been way easier, but the Zeb Strike is broken, so we had to. Uh, the Zeb Strike is glitched, so it makes it so that you have to. It's glitched? It's glitched, yeah. Uh, it doesn't let you draw four cards if you have a zero card hand, oh. which is just yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bad. Uh, so we're going to go in with the Great Ball oh, Trombone. Uh, no, I did not I use your codes. To use my codes. No, I didn't use your codes. I, I didn't how many steal your things. You had, and I was like, whoa, he's using my codes. Uh, that was actually a horrible. I know, I was like, I played for a second as if that great ball, as if the Zeb Strike was not broken. So that would have been bad. But I just I actually just have win, so it doesn't matter. I can, I can do this. And then we're going to get to sprint. Show me. Yes, here we go. Jumpman in the deck. Sprint. Get that tromboni out of here. Jumpman, jumpman, jumpman. Jumpman, jumpman, jumpman. Jump oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Lost March for game. Good game to my opponent. A lot of fun there. Jumpman getting in there. You guys are going to see Lost March do its thing, so that's really exciting as well. We're going to play one more game with Lost March here, and uh, then potentially I will sleeve up a Grand Bull. Now that Natalie's in the house, she can show me the uh -huh. ways. Uh huh. Uh huh. You show me the I ways. I didn't necessarily say I could do that, but yeah, I could probably help you figure it out. Oh well, I, I mean, just you could even tell me what cards go in the deck, oh, right? Oh yeah. Yes. I, I mean, I have the list somewhere. Uh, so. Yes! Very good. All right. So Lost March, equally busted deck. Cake Pops, busted deck. You guys have seen two completely broken, filthy, busted decks so far. So let's... <laughs> oh, Yarden is asking for your hand in marriage through uh, uh, obviously. YouTube chat. When? Uh, I'm going to have to veto when's, that. When's the marriage? No, when's Yarden. Wedding, Yarden. Yarden, she's mine. Can I be a Canadian citizen? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mimikyu. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna eat and not be. Oh, you're just gonna eat. I'm like super hungry. I haven't eaten all day. All right, go ahead and eat. <laughs> I didn't Fine, realize you Natalie. Just, doing just, this vlog. just eat on stream, why don't you? I'm not gonna eat on stream. I'm eating just, it to the left of just stream. Just eat on stream while everybody here in the chat <laughs> is hungry. Why don't you just share some with the rest of us? Oh my gosh. Just uh, oh, broken down. Honestly, win. it was so, so scared. Lost March is so broken that they just scooped out of fear. They were just like, get me out. Just get me out. They didn't, um, they didn't oh, want to Jason. see it. Jason, I, uh, I traded most of them so far for stuff that I need. I think I'm going to open it a little bit more. Eat right into the microphone. No. Uh, Owen Robinson's looking for some, what is it, ASMR? Oh, yeah. Uh, some ASMR <laughs> That's the opposite here. of ASMR for me. I hate the just sound. Like, like, sound uh, just yeah, like the sound of just smacking. Just I hate that. Yeah, uh-huh. I can't handle that. My uh, One of my kids, when I was a teacher, one of my kids... Uh, showed me that there's like ASMR, like if people eat like honeycomb and stuff, and they, and they just like, and they just like smack on that honeycomb, just like. Nom, nom, nom. I don't like show that us at all. the food. No, it's oh. sushi. All right, let me show off the food at least. You know, listen, Natalie, the chat's hungry. Oh my all God. right, so we've got some sushi here. There we go. Very good. All right, she's so got sushi. Uh, for the win, it triggers me as well, so yes. it's fine. Um, I'm not into ASMR. Don't worry, I will not turn this into. An ASMR food channel. You guys are safe with me I got here. Crab rangoons. Say yes. <laughs> yes, we got crab rangoons. Yes. Oh gosh, best. Honestly, busted girlfriend, guys. Whatever. Busted, broken girlfriend. Natalie is the best. She's the best. I'll eat over here. Don't let her tell you otherwise. Oh, would, did I get paired against Riley and he scooped to me? Oh, he did scoop. Riley, you are no fun. Look at Why Riley. Riley scoop? Oh, Riley doesn't want the deck out. He's trying to keep his place secretive. Yeah. All right, Riley. I see where your heart is, man. Secret decks over there, Riley. Don't even want to show your friends, Riley. Okay. It's like he's going to an international championship or something. All right. right what a guy. Fine. We'll get our blitzel. All right. Boo. Riley didn't want to play. Sad. All right. Let's... Uh, <laughs> It's because he's scared. It's okay, you know. It's fine. I understand. You're scared, Riley. It's fine. Just like a little scared, you know. Just a little scaredy cat. It's okay. All right. Uh, my opponent plays hammers apparently, and that hammer is still there. Tromboni. All right. Let's go in, and then we're gonna. Hopefully that lele is in there. That's uh, that's what the real hope is. Yeah, we got the lele. All right, busted. Uh, and then uh, I guess. Hmm. I guess we do get the lele. Yeah. We probably just like you know. We're gonna we're gonna lily here. That's good. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Sweet. And then we're gonna use the nice lily. Awesome. Am I visible on camera? I don't want anybody to see me eating. Later. Riley, it doesn't help me sleep at night. You just are clearly scared. You got paired, <laughs> and then you ran away because you were scared, bro. 
Scared, bruh. All right, we're gonna trombone. Still, man, that enhanced hammer is still there. All right, and then uh, we're gonna net. <laughs> I know, honestly, sad. Uh, and then we're just going to uh, pass a Rooney. Yeah, did I think you, it's uh, your turn, my guy. Did you open all your jump offs? Or did um, you trade for some? I opened two, and I traded for two. How much I did think. you? How much were the packs? Uh, I did not offer packs for jump fluffs. I offered GXs. Oh, okay. Like multiple GXs. You did that? What is like, this? You, did that, you made your own trades? Yes. That sounds like a good idea. I'll do that. Yes. I just like opened a ton of stuff and then I made my own trades and people accepted them. Yes. Okay. Uh, but then also, uh, I don't know, it could have been people in the chat. Uh, oh, accepting doing the, them? accepting the trades because they knew that I was gonna that I wanted them. Yeah. So I'm not exactly That's sure. Fine. Um, I'm just trying to see how much it was. All right. Here we go. So. This is not great. I don't want to have to retreat this Lele. I actually don't want him in the active position at all. We can Professor Elm's lecture. That's fine. We get ourselves the the man here, I guess. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think we great ball first. Let's just see what we got off great ball. Sequencing. Um, I think we want Natu. That's probably fine. Sure. And then I could also see, uh, let's see, Ultra Ball. Yeah, we don't really want any of that. I could, just, I could just ditch it, draw four more cards, look for a Guzma. That's probably fine. Yeah, let's just floral path to this guy. We'll do that. We're going to get ourselves the jump man. And then I think I'm going to ditch it. I mean, I don't know. My opponent's like not doing anything. I don't even know what this mischievous evolves into. What does that evolve into, Natalie? Do you know? Doesn't it do a Chaos Wheel thing? Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. And then they play Enhanced Hammers? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a cool idea, I guess. It might be bad for you. It's not going to be bad. You have grass, so you're We're going to be fine. I mean, you hold on to that then. I have three energy. Right, then I definitely don't get rid of these. That seems like definitely. You need to hold on to the grass for sure. Uh, but what if I put a goose with me again? That's going to be sad. I think we just attach here. Mm -hmm. And then I just lector. All right, we're going to lector. And we're going to get ourselves, uh, apparently the Natu is horrible. So we're going to get ourselves those. Natu is horrible? What? Uh, it's going to be horrible in this matchup. Oh, yeah, they start yeah. wheeling me. All right, yeah, Wheel. we're going to... Wheel! All right, so we're going to get those guys. Cool. We're going to get the hop-ip zone here. All right, cool. So we got some hop-ips in play. And then next turn, I will next turn attach to the Lele and then get myself a Zeb Strike on man. All right, there we go. Sweet. We're doing it next turn. Next turn, you're getting knocked out, my guy. Next turn. You just wait till next turn, all right? You just wait. A two, four, six, eight, ten. Doing a hundred damage, man. Uh, are you gonna play Grand Bull? I uh, could potentially play the Grand, the Granular Bull. I could potentially. Jump Fluffs are eight dollars. I told you guys uh, we opened like you know tons of you know it was like what eighty boxes of Lost Thunder. 90 we opened boxes. ninety boxes of Lost Thunder, and they average about uh, two a case. Yes, about two a case. So not a lot there. All right, so uh, I'm cool with that. We could hit the Guzma. The Guzma's better. I don't want to waste anything. Oh, I could Cynthia into a DCE as well. That's probably for the best. Let's just do that, and then let's just do that. Uh, and then I think I want to, yeah, let's just get the Zip Strike. Uh, sure. Broken. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to, you know, flower, flower, puff, puff into the sky. And oh, we're yeah, going to go get, uh-huh, yes, very good attack. Yes, very good. Hannibal Elms Lecter. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Lecter. All right. And then, uh, yes, I'm not going to attach that grass. I would rather retreat with the DC. That's a little greedy, uh, but we got there. All right. Sweet. And then we go there, and then we flower, flower, puff, puff into the sky. Very good. Go, go, go. Three Jumpmans. We need a fourth uh, grass in here, probably. I like that. And then Tromboni. Oh, oh, I did it wrong. Oh, we can't Tromboni. It's broken deck. Okay, that's bad. That's fine, though. Um. And then we're just retreating. We had four grass, but we found the... Um DC used to be better. Retreat. Busted. And then uh, Lost March, I think. I think that's it, right? I think uh, when I got some Trombonis, three, six, nine, 180 damage. I don't need any of these cards. Let's just sprint. Let's get there. Boom. Gone. All right. Love that Zepstrika. Get him out of here. Can't play him anyway. Lost Mixer, Rescue Stretcher. Okay. Uh, we're going to make some things happen next turn. Very cool. Love it. 
And then we can Rescue Stretch your Pokemon back into the deck. Uh, we can't discard these energies, though. That is a thing. But I do have the ability. You see, I'm already doing 180 damage. Next turn, I could Rescue Stretcher. And then uh, Lost Blender, two more Pokemon away, and we're doing even more damage. If that Tromboni wasn't broken, we'd be doing even more damage. Tons and tons and tons of damage. I think the uh, I think that the Trumbeak is broken right now. Yeah. Right. And uh, you have to play it uh, from the... Why did you confuse me, sir? Do not do that. <laughs> that is not very nice. All right, we'll Great Ball. See, Great Ball? No, I can just retreat. That is definitely what I'm finna do. All right, then we're going to Rescue Stretcher. And we're going to put a Pokemon from my discard pile in my hand. I'm going to get the Tromboni just so we could talk about I it. I cannot find a single jump up on the trades right now. Here we go. Oh, yes, they are very hard to get. All right, Tromboni. Tromboni. Go. See, you have to play the... Oh, it worked! I thought that maybe the Tromboni would be glitched. It just doesn't allow you to play it to the field like a item card was. Uh, but it did allow me to play it. So that's interesting. Okay. I thought that it would just be completely uh, dysfunctional. So that is interesting. I just had to play it down here by my bench, though. Um, and it allowed me, to, it allowed me yeah. to do it. So that is interesting. Good to know, guys. Tromboni might not be broken. He might be totally fine. So... All right, we've got a couple of lost uh, blunders here, some energy. All right, let's just retreat. And there we go. Get out of here. Lost March. Goodbye. Goodbye to you, Mr. Evious. Now, I still have four prizes left to take, but my opponent just is not really doing all that much. So I think I should be completely fine. Uh, should be fine. Yes, Owen Robinson's favorite attack is Wheel of Fortune. That's his favorite attack, the Chaos Wheel. Uh, it's his favorite attack. And whenever he attacks with it, he says, wheel! Even if he's like in a crowded room, like we're at a tournament or something, he's just like, wheel! Isn't that right, Owen? Isn't that right, Mr. Snowin? Snowin Robinson. Here's to you, Mr. Robinson. Every day you like to chaos wheel. Oh. All right, here we go. So we are going to, let's build, uh, let's build the dogs. Let's let the dogs out. Deck manager. All right. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's get the dogs out. All right, let's do it. Uh, standard. And we are going to build uh, the granular bull. Grand bull. Four snubble. Four snubble. Four pink dogs. Four snubble. There we go. Make a mess. Look at him. So cute. All right. Let's go. Let's go. And then we are also going to play what? Ranguru. Three of them. Three of them. Wow. Well, thankfully, I have five uh, or like 12. I have a lot. Okay, we have three Orangru, a 2 2 Macargo line. Uh -huh. Magargo. And a ditto. Ooh, look at this man I pulled. Mm, Isn't he nice. nice? Yes. All right, guys, I'm going to build the Gramble deck. I'm going to play two, count them, two games with the Gramble deck. Then I'm going to eat this lovely dinner before it gets too cold. So that's the order of operations. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Slugma. Let's get Slugma out. All right, which Slugma? Magma Ring, duh. Magma Ring's busted. All right, two, two, that. And then anything else, Natalie? No, that's it. Ditto Prism Star? Yeah, Ditto Prism Star. Besides that, nothing else. Broken. All right, now we play like a bunch of okay. Apricorn Makers. Okay, are you ready? Three Apricorn Maker. Three. All right, hold on. One, two, two. and then a nice one. All right. Okay, and then uh, you Guzmas. play a Diantha. Four Guzmans. Diantha. There we go. Four Guzmans, and then also a Diantha? Yeah. And that's it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for this board, yeah. Insane! All right. And then we're also playing, like, a Mysterious Treasure. Like, one. There's a, there, yeah, there is a singleton. Uh-huh. And then there's, like, four Lost Mixers. Okay. Blenders. There's, there are uh, four. There are three, there's three Lost Mixers. Three Blenders. All right. We got one nice-looking Secret Rare one, and then four, two regulars. Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, four Great Ball. Uh, Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, Great Ball. Got it. Yep. Four Rescue Treasure. Ultra. Also. Ultra. Four Ultra Ball. And then someone said I can control click. Yes. It didn't work. Is it command click on a map? I'm gonna jump up for six packs. I'm gonna take it. it. Didn't work, guys. All right, I tried it. All right. Yeah, you you do. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> Just you don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. All right, here we go. Great ball. Nest ball. And then also great ball. Yeah, four. Great ball. I feel and uh, a and rescue stretcher. Great ball. How many rescue stretcher? Um, four. Four rescue stretcher. Let's get in there. Rescue stretcher. Four. Four? Mm-hmm. Busted. All right, and then we also play Shrine of Punish Town. Okay. Three of them, right? Mm hmm And then we also have got, like, seven Fairy Energy. You need an Energy Recycler System. 
Fairy energy, yeah, okay, here we go. Seven, seven, right? Yeah. Recycle system. A Recycler. Dumbbells. And a bodybuilding dumbbells and some yeah. choice bands. Yeah. Body. Um, one, one, yeah, one bodybuilding dumbbells. Three choice band. Choice band, one more card. And uh, it's the last card is a field blower. Sweet. All right, we're in there. Let's get in there with our grand bull deck. Hopefully you guys enjoy the pink dog. It's not control, it's command. Let's see. Uh, Clifford, the big pink dog. Andrew. What? To get four cards at once, it's command. Oh, no. All right, my busted deck name is uh, one letter short. Clifford, duh, big pink dog. <laughs> pink, oh pink dog. <laughs> Clifford, the big pink dog. Oh, my God. God, I'm hilarious. All right, let's go. We need... Um, the most legitimate fear-inducing deck box we can choose, Mewtwo. All right, here we go. Clifford the Big Pink Dog, let's get out here with our <laughs> Mewtwo deck box. Oh, my gosh. oh yeah. All right, where you're not gonna, you can't miss it if you're going through your standard decks. There's no way you're gonna be able to miss it. Clifford the Big Pink Dog, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Clifford is a really big pink dog. Honestly, huge. New Gramble. Gramble's kind of pink, isn't he? Someone in the chat saying he's purple. He's, he's pinkish, at yeah. least. He's pink. Yes, thank you for the win, TCG. Yes, he's pink now for anybody who's questioning Gramble's color. All right, we've got ourselves two Slugma and nothing else. Fantastic. Let's see how we this whittle this hand down. <laughs> what do you mean? This will be fine. It'll be fine. Re it be like right. that sometimes. That's fine. We've got two Slugmans in play. All right, and then we can Magma Ring. We can do 10 damage. Ooh, we got a Marsh Shadow in the active position. That thing is going to be able to knock me out soon. If they can get any Pokemon in the discard pile, this person's on a win streak. They uh, apparently, this is like their fifth win or something. They're very good. And they're playing Gas Can. This is very scary. Now, fortunately for us, cards like, uh, well, first of all, for you know, they started a Marsh Shadow, which is, that's good for us. We definitely wanted that. They should let loose me. Go you in. You know it gets knocked out by Marshadow very Go easily? Go in. Or no, you know what Marshadow gets knocked out by really easily? A Grand Ball. A Grand Ball. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. And my opponent, I also love that my opponent just has no idea what I'm playing. No idea. They're just like, they got some Slugmas out there. They have no idea. This is about to be Clifford the Big Pink Dog. Yeah, no. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get a Snubble. And they're going to be like, what? Tilted. Uh, but also, Clifford uh, does uh, avoid getting knocked out by the uh, whoever the other, well, the Deoxys. Yes, the Deoxys. So that is very good for me as well. Clifford the Big Pink Dog has 130 hit points. Deoxys only does 120. Re, no, they play Sword of Dawn guy. Oh, bad. Oh, so okay. you got a Rangaroo? Oh, we're fine. We're, we're totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's you're get the, the Snaboli here. All right, very good. And then we're going to start doing things like and this and this. Yeah, and then oh, also yeah. Field Blower. It. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, get that back out of there. Yes, very good. And Instruct. Very good. So that's not that bad. All right. And then we got Apricor. Oh, Busted Deck. I told you the deck's Broken great. Broken Deck, honestly. And then we're just going to go get you ourselves like two more snubbles. Oh. What? Yeah, right? I mean, you're going to want. Yeah, I guess so. And then I can stack or I can get you a, want, you want and an get, Ultra Ball. Get No, get two nest, no, get two nest Balls. You can get like... Another snubble and another Orangaroo, and then you can stack your deck and get a Gramble. Oh, I love it. Like that. Love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're getting, you said we are getting at least one snubble, right? You know, we need at least one snubble. Ooh, I could just get like a Ditto Prism Star. And then you never know what it's going to be. I'm going to get a snubble. All right, that's fine. So we got that. And then another Shmarangaroo. All right, so we've got the Dream Team out here. This is fantastic. This is like exactly what we wanted. Uh, which things were looking... I'm about to have a 2-2 two -two jump hook split. A reverse two. hollow and hollow. It's, it's fine. I've game. got one reverse hollow, so maybe we can make something happen yeah. here. I have three different Vigable. That's the only Vigable I own in this account, so whenever I play Vigare, it's just three oh different Vigable. That's very obnoxious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. My opponent's got a Cynthia. Hmm. They got nobody in the discard pile. They can... <laughs> they casual can... slap. Casual slap. Bro, not going to lie, I had never read that before. All right, so they can casual slap me. Uh, Riley, I'm going to request that from Brazil. You bring me home some of those broken choice band arts. Have you guys seen this yet? I tweeted it on Twitter. If you guys follow me on Twitter, the, uh, the Brazil international choice band art is incredible. Really, really cool stuff. It uh, looks like my opponent's probably going to sort of don me. 
Don't sort of don me, bro. Don't do that. All right. Well, they have no idea. They're about to get grambled. They're about to get grambled. All right. Oh, yeah. They don't even. Oh, this thing's already dead. Yeah. Broken. All right. Let's. Uh, so at this point. Don't let him talk about this deck like it's good. He's been telling me this entire time. He thought it was a meme. Ah, uh, I did. I did think it was a meme. I thought the deck was was surely a meme. Yep. Thought it was a meme. All right. So at this point, we need to go here. And then we need to go here. And then we need a rescue stretcher for the slugma back. And then we're going to attach this. We're going to stack an ultra ball. Ultra ball, hand away, grab bolt, done. All right. There we go. Yes. Here we go. So this deck is kind of crazy. You have to like constantly be thinking about the combos. Yes, you do have to think a lot. Uh, always considering the right. combos. There's a lot of, it's like definitely a big brain oriented deck. You know, it's not really my taste, but uh, you know, it's all good. Okay, we've got ourselves, Grant. no, bad Andrew, bad. We need an ultra ball. Uh, <laughs> I have seven packs left to open, let's see if I get anything cool. Uh, here. We wanted an ultra bowl. Uh, Natalie, are you, you're just cracking your packs? I know, I traded for everything I need. I had 136 uh, packs and I, I only oh. have seven left. How'd you get 136 packs? I bought 100. Sick. Ultra oh, I just ball. pulled a jump off after trading seven <laughs> of my packs away for them. Natalie pulled a jump <laughs> off. Oh, they're so impossible to find. I was like literally about to, just without thinking, just to start instructing. I was just like about to just smack that instruct. <laughs> All out. There we go. Busto. How long have I been alive for? 29 years. But live here on YouTube, about two hours. I guess two and a half hours. Live. You're just trying to talk about <laughs> how old you are now. <laughs> Two hours and 24 minutes. And uh, thank you guys so much to everybody who's been watching the stream. You guys rock. I think this has been like my most watched stream ever, if not oh, yeah. ever uh, one of them. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody who donated. This has been absolutely incredible so far. And I really want to do a marathon stream here coming up eventually. That's something that I have on my to-do list. Uh, I want to get a marathon stream going. I want to get... Um, Twitch streaming going as well, so I can stream on Twitch and YouTube. I want to also uh, get that contest I was talking about. Yes, the art design contest for the playmat, where you'll design a playmat, and the theme of the playmat has to be Pokemon doing some sort of extreme sport. I'm going to offer up $100 to the winner of that, uh, and then I'm also going to show off all the submissions on the channel on a video. So that's going to be something that I do as well. And uh, yeah, so that's like, that's all in the works. I'm also gonna create, uh, I think I'm gonna create an influencer tier on Patreon. I saw like, you know, I I pitched it to some of my Patreon subs and they seemed on board with it. So I think I'm gonna do that as well. Where basically I will only have like a few influencer tier Patreon members, but like the idea is if you wanna see me play a specific deck, you can request that if you're at a certain tier and then I'll play your deck that you want me to play uh, each month or whatever. So I think there will be like, you know, maybe a handful of spots that have that as an option as well. So lots of cool stuff coming up here. All right, we've got ourselves a snubble in the active position. We need to get a grand bull out here and we need to get another snubble on the bench. Alrighty then, uh, let's make it happen. So first of all, I need to stack, yeah, I need to stack something on the top of the deck. I think I'm gonna stack the grand bull on top and then I'm just gonna draw into it real quick. That's probably fine. We like know that that's, that's first, like that's definitely. Do you have energy? I, I, it's attached to the snubble okay, already. Okay, good, no. yeah. I was gonna so say we that. know we're gonna do that. It's fine. That's fine. And then I'm going to instruct into it. Um, and then I can at least instruct again and Lost Blender everything away. But then I'm... Then, oh, this you need is, a choice ban. I, I don't plan on knocking it out. I wasn't oh. thinking that I was going to knock it out. I don't you think... You could have... Yeah. There's probably better plays I could have done. I wasn't really watching, so I can't say. It's all good. But. Yeah, we're going to just instruct again. And then I guess we, like, got the attack, but... Oof. All right, I can Mysterious Treasure. That doesn't really do anything. I well, think I have, have to, to, I have to Lost Blunder you, at this If you point. Lost Blunder, you draw a card. Oh, do you? Yes. So I, I broke the system. Um, all right. So what are we trying to do here then? Hmm, I, I forgot that Lost Blunder. You Lost Blunder and then you draw. You could draw a card and hope it's burnable. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Like, that's just what we got going yeah. on here. All right. Yeah, you got another <laughs> level too. Oh, yeah. God, we're good at this game. Okay, so that's great. Wow, we did it. That's uh, exactly what we needed. All right. All out, let's go. Sweet, 160 damage. I wasn't planning on knocking the thing out this turn. I know I needed a choice ban. It just, like, that was asking way too much. We need to get our second Macargo out. That is insane. Let's see. Oh, who's uh, Nathan? You turned 29 in 10 minutes. Happy birthday, Nathan. That is awesome. 
Happy birthday to you, good sir. I am also 29. 29 is good age. 29 years young, my friend. Yes. Uh, let's see. This Marshadow is going to be much easier to knock out. Uh, they're going to goose. Ooh, they're keeping my Gramble alive. Oh, that's your mistake there, dude. It's your mistake. I can easily burn this hand down. No problem. You're just going to draw one card and hope it's, you know. Burnable. It's going to be like a great ball or something. We're going to be totally fine here. Totally fine with the Granville deck. Dude, I know, Owen. I'm going to be the Dirty 30. <laughs> the Dirty 30. I'm Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. This is definitely a fun deck to play. There's just like, uh, narrowing things down is really tough. I have to... I'll definitely have to practice this deck more so I'm more familiar with like the routes and everything that you're supposed to take. Okay, so we've got a Diantha. Ooh, that's unfortunate actually. Well, all you gotta do is disrupt into, like, into like an a lost mixer, apricorn maker, ball. anything. Okay, there's a great, great ball. Great ball and a ditto. ditto prism star. That doesn't quite do it, but I could get a a man here. Yes. All right, yeah, you never know. Okay, so oh yeah, that's uh, that's fine. We'll take that. Um, and then we have to just instruct again. Bench that's the fine. Ditto. Oh, we are definitely yeah. benching that ditto. Yeah, he's not staying around. All right, we're going to struck for... All right, let's go. Two more cards. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. Uh, uh, yikes. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's bad. Um, rescue Stretcher? No, we can actually only get the Grand Bull. Do we get the Grand Bull? No. Yeah, no. Uh, no, we do not. Done. No, you uh, just you just have it next turn when they... Knock I out said you. done! Oh, that's fine. That's fine. You, when they knock out your Grand Bull, you can Diantha. All right, we're going to all out for 30. Bad. It's fine. I'm going to Diantha, and then we're going to get some things out of there. So that's that's fine. Uh, we may end up losing this matchup, though. That thing's got 100. Ugh. We need to find a shrine, like right now. Uh, because when that thing goes down, I can win this so long as I can get a shrine into play. Like, I just need to find a shrine really badly. So we need to throw some Pokemon back into the deck for sure. What is my opponent doing right now? Who are they going to attack with what are they, they get a lily for six okay i know septile is busted septile is busted is that what you're getting into tonight nathan that sounds like fun let's see six uh so they're doing 140 with this tapoosh melee i can honestly take like six prizes pretty quickly i just need to find a shrine and we'll be good to go i'm on a two cur i'm on a two turn clock like diantha. yeah we need to die yeah we're gonna diantha here we got the two. Oh, busted. So yeah. So You're then fine. I Diantha for Ultra Ball and Fairy Energy. Is that what we do? Um, no, I need to. I'm going to get a Rescue Stretcher and I'm going to get the Macargo back onto the top of my deck because I want that. And then I'm also going to get a Fairy Energy, I think. Uh, that seems fine. So let's just Diantha here. Um, I want the a Rescue Stretcher and a Fairy. That seems good. And then we're going to Rescue Stretcher. Uh, we're going to... How are you going to play your hand out? Boom. Uh, I'm going to get my Macargo, and I'm going to ah. instruct into an Ultra Ball. Yes. Yes. We want him. Very good. And then we're going to go... Yeah. And then we're going to go... Yeah. You can also evolve the deck. And we're going to go... Yeah. Very good. And then... Um, you can also play just play that... A Rangaroo? Yeah, that Rangaroo is not... Instruct, but I feel like you probably should. I think I want to get another Pokemon in play. What Pokemon do I? I just oh, I want to. Let's uh, huh. I could just instruct. That's like very greedy. I could just instruct for three and just hope I get like playable no. cards. You don't do that. No. Um, I really want like the shrine. Right there if you don't. I really want the shrine like right now. Um, so smooth over. You, that's fine. We're gonna you smooth need to over. Try it. See what happens. Maybe it'll pay off. Um, should have stacked before you played the Grand Bull and got Shrine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yes, I should have done that. Um, so I, I'm i learning it, Riley. I'm learning it right now, so that's fine. All right, we are going to go get, I guess, Ultra Ball onto the top of the deck is probably... Have we played a supporter yet? Yes, Diantha. we Diantha, yeah. So I guess I'm going to stack this, and then I can go get myself another Snubble, I guess. That seems fine, I guess. All right. So we're going to... Stack Ultra Ball. Uh, and then we're going to instruct for two. And then I think we just hope we find Shrine. Oh my god, I'm so good. Okay, there we go. And then we get to instruct again. Uh, I could bench I could bench the Oranguru and then instruct for two more. That's probably fine. Yeah, let's just do that. And then let's just instruct. There we go. 
God, I'm good. Okay, great. Yep, never punished. Very good. Uh, and then I can Ultra Ball these away. Okay. Excellent. And we're just going to, yep. Done. Get in there. All out. Knockout. Woo. So, woo! 190 damage. And then we're also going to be doing an insane amount of damage to that man over there. Uh, so he's like on a clock now. So that is incredible. That thing's getting, uh, yep. And we're like, put my opponent on like a two turn clock here. They have to take a knockout here. And then they're going to go to 180 on the bench. So if they attack with the Marshadow, they probably just lose. So that is, uh, that's it. Uh, they have to counter the stadium right now. They definitely have to. What, Never Punished shirt? You guys want Never Punished merch? We can make it happen. Never Punished. Never. And also, yikes. We need yikes. Yikes, <laughs> yikes stuff and Never Punished stuff. That would be, that'd be good. Would you guys be into that? I think I'd be into it. The Deoxys is very bad against me. That thing only does 120 damage. Not enough. It's not enough. Not enough. So we are in a little bit of an interesting spot. We just need to, I mean, we should be cool. We should be able to make it happen. But are they going to go in? They're going to Guzma and take a knockout with the Deoxys. Then all we have to do is play our hand down and we just win. If they don't have a com uh, counter stadium, it's game over. So... That would be it. They're going to knock out the Macargo. They're going to make it a little harder for me to play my hand down, but I'm still just a believer. I think we got it. So heads up play by my opponent there, seeing that the Macargo definitely... Uh, I also, I, I'm very confident. I never punished, I, like I said. So here we go. That thing's going down. All we need to do is knock out the active Deoxys, and it's game over. Okay, so let's make it happen. That's uh -huh. actually... All right, well, we know the Great Balls are burnable cards, so we're going to do that. And no, no, I don't want anything. No, Mom. All right. Done. Done. Okay. Good. We can know we can attach Blender. energy. We know we can Lost Blender. So I you think just need to draw into... I need to get rid of the stadium. You can Lost Mixer, the car, or Lost Splendor, the stadium away. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Attach so I think I'm going to Lost Mixer, mixer. now, right? Yeah, because if you play, if you draw into a burnable card, you can just, you're just done with the turn until you got it. Yeah. So. Yeah, so let's do that. Sad. Sad. All right. Well, we have got some grinding to do here. All right. Do I attack? No, they definitely get, they got game if I don't. All right. So we have to win right here. We got some grinding. All right. Come on, Ultra Ball. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, uh, April Maker, you got it. Oh, for Ultra Ball. Do you have an and Ultra Ball? Check, check if you have Ultra Ball in deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you oh, yeah, I do. Let's go. Let's get it. We just want Ultra Ball. Yep. Great Ball. What? I'll just fail the Great Ball, it doesn't matter. You don't have to grab another Pokemon. I don't, or no, you don't have to grab another ball. I don't know why you did that. I don't know why I did it either. I just did. You All almost right. royally ruined it. No, I didn't ruin anything. You almost ruined it. I didn't ruin you anything. You done it. Uh-uh. No, here we go. We're just we're just showing them what we could have done. There we go. Great Ball. Don't click it. Okay. Done. All right. All out. Let's go. Got there with Granbull. God, my brain just got like really, really, really big there. That was really tough, honestly. I think that, you know, we need to contract the brain size. This deck is way too big brain for me. 700 damage dealt with Clifford the Big Pink Dog. So that is, uh, that's insane. All right. Last game of the stream with Clifford the Big Pink Dog. All oh, right. Nice Let's get in there. Last game. One more. Uno Mas. Then... I am going to eat my dinner. It's going to be really good. So thank you again to everybody who showed up tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody, who hung out while we streamed some new Lost Thunder stuff. Uh, and shout out to everybody who's been here the entire time, even through all of those pack openings. You guys are incredible. All right, this is a pretty dope starting hand, honestly. We've got the Trine of Punishment here, so that's good. We've got the Slugma, so that's good as well. Definitely feeling that. That's good. And then uh, we are going to just start off with an Apricorn Maker. I mean, we can Netball, Great Ball, Apricorn Maker, Stack Attack. Uh, yikes, that's, uh, that's a little rough. We are weak to, uh, yeah, that stuff. But it's all good. We got Shrines in the deck. We should be cool. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to Apricorn Maker. Sure. And I think we're going to want, like, Ultra Balls, you know, probably to thin this hand down, probably. Uh, yeah, I feel like two Ultra Balls is probably just fine. Or we could just get like a bunch of Net Balls, and then we could just get Ultra Balls next turn. Net Balls? Yeah, Nest Balls. Nest balls. Yeah, we're just going to get some Nest Balls, and we're going to go in with a three search. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome to PTCGO. Here we go. 
So we're gonna get snubble, number one. Snubble, numero dos. And then we're also going to get, uh, oh, we should have great balled like a long time ago. Sorry guys, I'm bad, all right. And then we also are gonna get, uh, yes, we're gonna get a Ranguru. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we are going to get another Slugma, yes. And then uh, the operation is complete, very good. Uh, I can attach my energy to the granular bowl, and then I can also do this, and I can instruct for Uno. Give me one. Very, very good. Excellent. We've got a Bando. Cool. Pass to you. Shrine. Take it. Eat it. Eat it, Stack Attacker. You don't need that health. All right, that Ultra Wall is going to be annoying, though, for real. It's like, uh, going to be tough, because you know where there's one Stack Attacker, there is usually more Modern Stack multiple. Attackers. Yes, there are multiple. No, Ultra Space, no! Give me my Shrine back. Sad, so. I don't know if I would have played that turn one, but, you know. <laughs> uh, up next on stream, Andrew eats sushi. Yes, that is going to be. He doesn't eat sushi. That's going to be me. I eat sushi sometimes. You've never, I've never once seen you eat sushi. That you always is... say that every time we get Chinese, he's like, it's a Chinese and Japanese restaurant. It's an Asian, yeah, it's an Asian, it's Asian place. restaurant. So yeah. I get sushi sometimes, and he'll be like, I like sushi, but then I've never seen him eat it. Well, I prefer Chinese. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I, I do love but, sushi. It's very good. I will eat it, but I'm always just, like, too hungry. Like, I haven't eaten all day today. I have not you eaten. You can eat a lot of sushi. It's so, very filling. There's rice in it. Uh, so what I want is just to smash on some Chinese foods. That's what I'm about to do. I got the crab rangoons. I got the Chinese food. I'm going to be a happy boy here momentarily. All right. Guzma would be good, but we don't actually have the stuff to thin our hand down with Guzma. So I think, unfortunately, we're kind of just stuck chilling here. We kind of have to apricorn maker. So that's sad, but it's all good. All right, we'll just we'll just do that. Man, I can't really Guzma. Make a mess. Discard two, two trainer cards from your hand. Attack does 20 damage for each thing you discard in this way. I can do 40 damage to that Poipool. Seems bad. Seems bad. Yep, all right, we're going to apricorn maker. Very good. We've got an ultra ball and a great ball. I think that's what we I think that's what we got going on here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Cool. I'm gonna see if I can get anything for free. For free off that great ball. Heck yeah, I can. There's a granular ball right there. Perfect. And then I can Huh, do we go full greed here? Do we just like go and Oh, I don't have to full greed at all. No, you've got it. I've got it. Oh, because I apricorn maker. Oh, okay. But you can't, um, yeah, you can't, no, you can't Guzma. So you just, I can't Guzma, so that's fine. There. I Ultra Ball. Do I, you think I should stay here? Uh, well, it's too late now, so. <laughs> uh, I guess I just wanted to get the, I wanted to get the thing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. So, energy recycle system and Guzma, they can go. This plays four Guzma, right? Yeah, yes. it plays four Guzma. But I'm probably going to want the Guzma. Ah, no, the choice pin's going to be really good. Yeah, so we're going to Ultra Ball those away. That's fine. And then we're gonna get ourselves the mag cargo. I really wanted that mag cargo, very good. And then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go uh, here, and we're gonna stack our deck. Very good. I want to smooth over another ditto, a ditto. That seems fine. I don't know, what do you think, Natalie? Why? I don't know, it seems What's good. The point? Or a shrine. Ooh, we get a shrine. Why? What's the point? Uh, the point is uh, that I want to, I don't know, I could get an Ultra Ball. It guarantees me that I'm... We need a switch in this deck, I think. We do need a switch in this deck really bad, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get an Ultra Ball. That's fine. All right, so I guarantee that I'm going to be able to attack next turn. But uh, it could be bad, though. Like, I don't know, because if, uh, you know, we got Fairy Energies. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure. Cool. All right, so we'll attach there. Oh, I'm here. And there you go. I didn't want to eat on camera. Natalie is right here. All right, I'm going to pull up a chair. chair's not that Pull, cool. pull up a chair, Natalie. I'll just pull up, pull up a chair. All right. Well, let's just take a seat. All right. Sweet. Natalie's in the house. We're going to co-pilot this game together. Oh. Excellent. I have got some General So's, right? Yes. General So's chicken. And crab rangoons. Yes. Crab rangoons. Yes. Yes, I know what really you want. really excited. Thank goodness. So good. All right. Uh, this is actually looking like it's going to be a little bit of a grinder here. We need a switch desperately. I don't know if you can beat this deck. <laughs> uh, we definitely... Desperately need a switch. Oh, Judge, that's actually just fine. I didn't really like that hand that I had, so that's fine. Will Natalie play while you eat? Uh, no, I think we got to, gotta, yeah, we both got a lot of work to do tonight, actually. But I am I trying to I would have been here earlier if I didn't have so much work to do. I, d I am trying to get a, like, marathon stream going here eventually, just not today. Let's see. I'm going to uh, Great Ball. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. All right, a Snubble and another Oranguru. I think we take the Oranguru. That sounds good. Yeah. 
And then, uh, oops, I actually might have played myself. No, I can Mysterious Treasure away this novel there. That's fine. And then I need to get like a Guzma, though, is the thing. Oh, that's just so ugly. All right, that's fine. Now let's do this and this. And then, no, oh, I can actually play one more. And then, I don't know, if I like, I actually have it. Yeah, I'm fine. So then I can go attach this. I can stack a Guzma, instruct for one, Mysterious Treasure Away this novel. Yeah, that's what we do. Busted deck, broken, busted, filthy deck. All right. Choice band somewhere. I think it goes better on him. He can actually technically still attack. All right. So there we go. Yeah, he can Magarim for 80 against these things. They're weak to fire. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. We're going to stack a Guzman on top. All right. Big brain play here. Watch out. Andromon slugging around his really big brain. All right, here we go. So we're going to get the Guzma, and then there's the Guzma. All right, let's bring up uh, like this bad boy or something. I don't know. Something like that. Cool. And then, yeah, send him out there. And then Mysterious Treasure. Good thing you can't get anything with that Mysterious Treasure. Nothing. Treasurer. All right. And then we're all out. Let's go. 190 damage. Knocked out. Broken. Perfect. Broken. Got him. Got him. All right, excellent. Great ball and an ultra ball. That's actually fantastic. So that's going to help me for sure as far as, uh, you know, getting more Pokemon Yeah, every time play. you see an ultra ball, you're like, nice. Every, yeah, every an ultra, <laughs> ultra ball is just like perfect. Great. Awesome. Uh, because you don't want to actually Macargo for the ultra. Like you can, but it's not ideal. I'd rather Macargo and smooth over for like the stadium, the shrine or something. Favorite Disney movies? The Aristocats. Uh, Wally. That's a horrible answer. It's not a horrible answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wally is like really good. Fine. It's like Wally totally is like fine. Top it's an tier. all right movie. Wally is great. It's like a very all right tier movie. Wally is fantastic. Movie. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just fine. It's just it is broken. Just it's completely fine. broken. All right. This is very uh, all right. Let's see. Thank you, Snowin. Appreciate it. Thank you, Owen Robinson. Cheers to you, Mr. Robinson. All right. We are going to go here. Broken. Busted, filthy deck. All right, and then Two, we're gonna go. Count em. I think we go double fairy on it. it. That's fine. Matter, yeah. yeah. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stack. I could stack a. Uh, oh, the stadium. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Smooth over. Get me that stadium. Why? Oh, okay. do you have two instruct right now? I wasn't looking. Oh, I have ultra ball in hand. So. Yeah, but you're. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I have two instruct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're going to play the stadium, so you can't ultra ball it away. Is what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Lion King was my second pick. Boom, bingo, bango. There we go. So we're gonna do that. And then I think I just big brain stack like a bad card onto the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So we're, what's a card we don't want? Another oh, ranger, we, we don't need that. Uh, that's fine. And then we're going to instruct into that one. Bust it. And then Wally's a masterpiece. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And it's also just a genius commentary. On important issues, man. It's really deep, man. All right, here we go. Sweet. All out. Let's go. Zero card hand. Got it. 190 damage. 180, I guess. They got a, a thingy. 190 but fine. with the shrining, then. With the shrine. Uh, but we are getting, approaching the zone. Giant where fangs we could, material. Gi we are approaching giant <laughs> fangs zone here. <laughs> uh, sad. Who would have thought? An Ultra Beast deck, or, uh, you yeah, know, no. a Nagadale deck playing tons of Ultra Space. <laughs> Uh, didn't see it coming. It's fine, though. Honestly, you know, uh, that's fine. I just need to get, what do they have, 100? Ugh. You're telling me I need to get it to stick for two turns? That's so they don't horrible. Max oh, this game's and over. Oh, bad. Oh, the game's over now. I mean, that thing. This seems bad. Oh, this seems horrible. This just seems like a mess of a matchup for sure. And then they're just going to come in with this thing and just stack attack on me and just, it's going to be ugly. Uh... Beast Raid. Okay, or they could not. That's fine, too. Um, actually, this isn't... I don't lose by any no, means. I'm I mean, like totally fine. Yeah, I think they Let's had to see, bring up the stack just attack. Got it all out here. Yeah, that was uh, that was like totally fine. Uh, I can actually just all out. I don't even need to pare my hand down, so I'm not gonna. All right, let's smooth over. Just prepare yourself, too. Like, get an yeah. or something. We're gonna get level. this thing, and we're gonna put that into play for sure. Uh, I think we want to keep the burnable cards in our deck. Up. Weirdly, you don't get, like, the yeah. net. No, you don't hold get the net. Yeah. Um, and then I could get an Apricorn. Oh, I could get a Diantha. Let's just get a Diantha. That seems good, right? Yeah. And then let's just play the Diantha as our support this turn. Yeah. 
Seems good. It does seem good. Like it. All right, so let's go give ourselves the Diantha, please. And then what we want to, ooh, and we got Rescue Stretcher. That's actually very good as well. So I think I'm gonna get a Snubble with the Rescue Stretcher. I like that. Um, yup, put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand, please. Got it, Snubble, very good. We're gonna bench that. Then we're gonna Diantha, and we're going to Diantha for like, I don't know, an energy recycle system shrine. and a shrine. Yeah, that seems fine. So we're going to do that. We're not going to pare our hand down this turn. We don't need to. So we're just going to get boom there and boom there. Good, good cards all around. You Excellent. need to like be ready to, to, yeah, okay. Yeah, so then I, I got to. an ultra ball on top of your deck with that other one, I think. Right, I think I'm just going to play this. Yes. Yeah. I think you need to like put, because you're about to take two prizes. Yeah. You need to put like an Ultra Ball on top of your deck. Exactly. So I'm just going to actually draw into it. So I just have it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go get that Ultra Ball there. And then we're good to go. And we'll instruct into that as well. So we have it. And then I'm going to keep the Energy Recycle System, because you never know. If I top deck an Energy or something, I might want to just, I don't know, shuffle three in or something like that. So all out, busted, take the knockout. And then that thing is going to get weakened. And then I've got no GX Pokemon. So this is actually like completely fine. fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can see even. I think it would have been worse if you would have brought up the. Oh, we would have been definitely card. worse off because if he counters my shrines every turn. But I also didn't consider that I could Diantha for a shrine back. So I actually have some, yeah. you know, kind of leeway. And even though we only play three shrines, it's, it can be effectively four shrines because of the double shrine we get off of Diantha. So that's pretty sweet there. Pretty, pretty cool. And yes, it is awesome. Diantha is like a powerful card. It just is a very good card. It just hasn't really seen any, you know, place where it makes a ton of sense yet, but it makes a lot of sense here because you're playing a non-GX fairy deck. So that just is like a no-brainer. In a deck like Guardi, your Guardies don't always get knocked out. Uh, Victor, yes, I will be uh, at some point. Just not today, but it's on my, that's like on my, you know, kind of, uh, eternal to-do list as well. It's definitely going to be making t-shirts here at some point. And uh, that is exciting. I, you know, I love love t-shirts and I love this job. I love working at Full Grip because I get to wear t-shirts, which is awesome. So that has been a huge plus for me as well. But I also love this job just because it's dope to work here, honestly. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere is great. You know, employees are awesome. You know, a lot of my friends work here. And just the, uh, the amount that they've hooked me up has been incredible. All right, so we actually have, we just have this. They only have one. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good to go here. So all we have to do is what we do, 160. That's not quite enough. We actually want the choice band. Do we have a choice band left in deck? Probably not. I think they're all in play. Ah, nuts. We got, all right, but I can get a, uh, so let's see. We could do 160. I do 150. And then plus the shrine. Hey, we get there. We just have to get that shrine out. All right, so let's make sure the shrine is not, uh, I know I made fun of you, Riley, but that's because I didn't know any better, see? So it's fine. Uh, we're going to nest, I think I just wanna search my deck real quick. Uh, so we need to draw, yeah, yeah, let's just do this, okay. We're gonna nest ball, let's see what I got actually in the deck. Do I have a shrine left? Do I not? I don't. Oh, this uh -oh. is so sad. Okay, oh, Alexa, play, play Despacito, please. All right, um, the saddest timeline, that's Fine. The thing is eventually going to get knocked out, just not quite yet. Hope they don't buy Max Potion. You're making me do a little bit more than I want to do here, sir. All right, let's get ourselves a Snaboli or a Ditto. That's fine. Yeah, we'll get a Ditto. Okay, we'll get a Ditto. I like Ditto. Let's get Ditto out here. All right, and then we're going to Energy Recycle System. And we're going to put, I think I'm going to just put three energy back into the deck. At this point, I think I'm kind of low. Uh, no, I'm not. Not yeah, at all. You get four left. Okay, so we will energy recycle system and get uh, so one, uh, yeah, one into my hand. Oh, very good. And then I think I will also shuffle some Pokemon back into the deck. That seems good. I'm going to put like two Grand Ball back into the deck and a Snubble. That seems fine. So let's do that. Sweet. Shuffle three. Uh, <laughs> Andrew is too blinded by Lost March. Fair assessment. All right. Fair assessment. Gramble is good. It's just a very large cranium deck. All right, let's throw this there, and then also this, and then we can uh, we can do the smooth over. I'm gonna put something on top of our deck. Sure. You just put like put something that I don't want, and then ultra ball it away. Yeah. Or uh, I can't. I think get you the like this yet. turn. 
this turn you ultra ball stuff away that you don't want and then stack for an extra turn to top deck and energy and then you have grand bull okay. yeah but i don't have grand bull yet for next turn but where's the grand i'm gonna need another grand bull though you, you know? have you have a ditto right right but i need to have a way to get oh i'll be able to stack next it. turn i'm yeah, saying yeah. you stack the energy the next turn you can draw into the grand bull i with like your that two. yeah let's just stack a lost blender and ultra ball that away yeah sure all right so we'll do that Instruct, and I can do that twice, right? I mean, I can like get that. Um, yeah, let's just let's just do that. Yeah. Oh, and then next turn you said stack a energy on top, energy or a grand, probably an energy. Yeah, the energy. Probably energy, but I mean. Yeah, we're gonna fail that. Then we're gonna yeah, Sir Stackington, yeah, smooth over, and we're gonna put an energy sure on the top of the deck, but we're not gonna get it. Stack a loss remover, then stack something else. I don't know. We're doing this. All right, all out. There we go. 150 damage, unfortunately, so my opponent is 10 damage shy of a knockout. Next turn, I may need to go for some sort of a... No! Stop that! Uh -huh. Oh, bad, bad, uh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, oh bad. things are about to get bad. Ugh. All right, this is uh, totally fine. We're totally it's fine. fine. Totally like really Rusty bad. Claws? We can deal with Rusty Claws. You're weak, um, You're weak to it. We can we can knock this thing out. Plus, if uh, what what did I say is prize the shrine? Oh, that doesn't the uh, shrine all of a sudden does not help me at all. So that's a little bit tough, but it's okay. We're gonna be totally fine. Rusty claws, big <laughs> rusty claws. claws. All right, here we go. So there's Mr. Ditto. Uh, you're fine. Just I I am gonna KO the dumb necrozma, Riley. All right, here we go. And we need to put smooth over, and we definitely need ultra ball. Ooh, no, there's no ultra ball left in deck. Re. Okay, so <laughs> we need this thing. Awesome. Uh, that's fine. This is one way to do it. Alrighty then, we are going to instruct into those things blindly. No idea. Okay. It's appropriate. There we go. That's good. This is actually perfect. So we'll do uh, yeah that, and we'll put a Pokemon from our discard pile into our hand. Very good. We want a Snaboli. Give me him. Throw him onto the bench, the old bench room. Stack Lost Mixer. You think that's going to... But I need an energy for next turn, Riley. Uh, and then I can Rescue Stretcher. Stack a Grand Bull before you use it. Uh, shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Uh, put a, yeah, yeah, we need to do that. Cool. So we'll do one, two, a three. Very good. And then uh, I think I would like to stack for next turn, please. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to stack either a Grand Bull or an Energy. I think we just want an Energy to do more damage. Seems fine. Mm. Yeah. I mean, at this point, like, the road is running a little thin here. That's okay. I did move past your play. I don't, I, you know what, Riley? You know, I mean, the, the deck is like, it's really asking a lot of me right now. All right, there <laughs> we go. It's fine. We just got an energy for next turn. That's that's what we got. That's what we got, Riley. Yeah. All right, we're going to all out this thing, and we just really want the whatever was probably the shrine. We definitely want that shrine for sure. So let's get that. There's the shrine. Nice. That's good. So that helps us a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I probably need to attack like two or three more times. What is this guy doing here? Slice blade off. Blade GX. Is he going to blade GX me, bro? Don't blade GX me. Um, probably not, but... <laughs> oh, no. What if he... Uh, what if he Stinger GXs me? That'd be bad. Dude, you know what this deck needs? A GX attack. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You're right. You're right. So. Uh, oh, my opponent's going to Guzma. I'm fine with this. Stinger. Stinger. I, I prefer this timeline where I get Guzma. That is he very good. Stinger. No, he needs to be straight. And then we get to all out for free. Excellent. We'll see what we top deck and see if we end up doing anything. All right. So that's pretty good. My opponent's got two prizes remaining. If they can, like, ace a roll, the game's over. But, like, uh, we just got to hope that that doesn't happen. So let's uh, let's go here. Let's let's stack. Smooth over. We actually just have it. We're going to smooth over. Not that one. That one. Very good. And then we are going to just uh, play the shrine, play the energy, and all out. So that's what we got. And now let's instruct for one. Perfect. Perfect. Good. And there we got the snubble, the shrine, and an energy for next turn. And I even get to stack 
I even get Sad. this Sir Stackington for next turn. I want a Grand Bowl. It's all I want. All right. It's all I want for Christmas, Mom. All right, let's go, Gramble. Get in there. Get in there, Gramble. All out. Do it. 140 damage. Shrined. Shrines. Okay. This is all. This is it. I'm going all out here. It's all I got. I think I'm going to have one more turn. So next turn, I could theor... No! <laughs> Stop what you're doing. All right. Next turn, I could theoretically... Oh, they got two, two stack attackers out, too. That's just so bad. Ooh. This is horrible. I think uh, you lose now. And the shrine's gone. But they don't knock oh, me out, they though. Yeah, they don't knock you out. Mm. So we're fine. Okay. We're okay here. We're not great. Uh, but we'll take it. I got it off Guzma. But I don't here, though. Because right now I'm only doing... Um, I'm only doing like 140, right? The stack so it's attack. short. Yeah, uh -huh. the stack attack has prevented me. I was looking at that, Riley, but that's not that's not going to get it for me there. So I think I just need to have Guzma for next turn, though. So we're going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to smooth over a Guzma onto the top so that I have it next turn, and we're going to hope that that gets we me there. We don't have it next turn. Well, I'm going to damage this thing, and then if he oh, okay. retreats... Say, no, the shrine's going. You don't if he retreats it, then I'll have it next turn with Guzma. So make him have to heal it. All right, we're going to do that. All out. Here we go. 140 damage. Let's hope that... I mean, this deck Another plays one. Like a ton of max potions, a ton of acerolas, so it's probably just all bad for me. But in the off chance that they don't... I think you would slam it down. Probably would have slammed it down. Like probably would have gone... Cha ching And would have slammed it down. So let's hope he ain't got it. Come on. Let's hope. Oh, oh uh, he does have it. Bad. All right. That's fine. Um, so we have a Guzma in our hand now, which is, like, kind of tough. I don't actually want the Guzma. I may be able to just, like, draw up the Cartana, though. And just a stack attack. Or a stack attack. He's got more retreat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just draw up a stack attack. They might not have it. Um, I'm fine with that. So we're just going to draw up that. And then just continue yeah. stacking other things. So, cool. All right, hey, get out of here, Guzma. Um, yeah, there's really no points. I could smooth over like a snubble. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, if he has Guzma, he wins anyway. Does he? Oh yeah, you're right. Um, because uh, yeah, don't pull Katana. They'll blade. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can blade. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So it's got to be the stack attacker. Yeah. Does he win with Guzma anyway? Uh, uh, I mean, he can knock out Macargo. Oh, he can knock out yeah. Macargo? Macargo with, with Naginato. Yeah, all right, you're right. Yeah, so there's really no point in getting another Snubble out, but I guess, like, whatever. Um, no, bodybuilding he, he numbers. Doesn't, oh, he doesn't want to hit KO the Grand Bull, so he doesn't win next turn. No. All right, yeah, we'll get if, the, I don't know. We're going to get that. I don't know. Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, can just, he can just blade, so he needs, he needs to bring that up, yeah. Let's go. All right. All right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a shot here. Gonna go all out and see if you got it like that, sir. Uh, is this it? Do you have a? Oh, he's got the Acerola. Well played. Oh, you got me. Or okay. Anything. Well, you know, Guzma. Guzma. All right, this is a bad matchup for us. Yes, unfortunately, our big pink dogs do not like being healed against. That was very bad. But uh, otherwise, and it, one to one, we could have won that game, and we definitely could have. It was not bad, but. Uh, you know, nothing can prepare you for Beast Box there. I mean, <laughs> no amount of preparation would have made us ready for that. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Thank you all for hanging out all night while we busted some Lost Thunder Packs. Also got to build, uh, three brand new decks. We got to show off Cake Pops. We got More to show gameplay. off Grand Bulls. And we got to show off Lost March. So, awesome stuff there. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Lost Thunder deck is and what decks you guys are testing out at home. What decks you guys want to see from me uh, as far as, uh, you know, building Lost Thunder stuff. Thank you all to everybody who purchased stuff from FullGripGames.com. Thank you all for placing your orders. You guys rock. Really, really appreciate it. Orders have been going really, really well so far for our Lost Thunder products. So, thank you guys so much for everybody who put in orders there. Uh, shout out to all my Patreon subs. Uh, shout out to everybody who's ever bought anything through my Etsy store. You guys rock as well. And uh, yeah, so, oh, also shout out to everybody who donated, uh, doing the super chats and all of that tonight. That was a blast as well. And thank you for all the cake pops. Good luck during the pack openings. You guys <laughs> rock. Uh, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel and all that good stuff. Ring that bell. Peace.